Hey fellas, we are back with the Heroes Premier League and we are in the final day of Season 1. I'm G-Shock, with me is Technolink and we're about to get ready with our final game or rather uh, the finals, the grand finals between Mind Sanity and SK Gaming. Yeah, my Sanity and SK Gaming, they're ready, ready up right now. They're actually already jumping into the draft. It's going to be a best of five between these teams, and we're going to be playing on three different maps. The Haunted Mines and Dragonshire have been banned out, and the rules are pretty simple. Once you've picked a map, you cannot pick that map again. So suppose you pick Curse Hollow in the first round, that means in the later rounds you're not allowed to pick it again as your team. The other team, of course, is free to do so, and... Uh, 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 Shock, you're, uh, or rather, uh, Paul, you're the, you're the guy with the controls. Are we already seeing the draft? Uh, we are now. And we have the first ban coming out of my insanity, and it is Illidan. Yeah, Ill Illidan, uh, <laughs> I imagine, is the target ban uh, towards uh, SK Gaming. I believe that. Um, was it Zarmany who likes to play Illidan? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, it it was certainly someone on SK Gaming who really prefers to play Illidan. And of course, then SK Gaming haven't come out Abathur. I mean, yeah, that Abathur. makes sense. Total do, do sense. We, yeah, do we have to talk about Abathur? Nah, I don't think so. But there, there are always a couple of viewers that are wondering, okay, why do we always see a ban on Abathur? And um, I mean, you either go for an Abathur ban or you ban Tychus, but Abathur can always be uh, used um, in synergies with almost all heroes. I mean, um, if you if you don't ban out Tychus, then they just go for a clone on Felstead, and that's evenly uh, as strong. So, yeah, uh, banning Abathur, I think, is vital right now with the meta. Um, I don't know if we're ever going to see a return of him in the professional scene, uh, possibly if there are any nerfs incoming, or if the meta shifts to a wildly different style. But so far, um, I think he's always a solid. Uh, it's just always a solid idea to ban him. Yeah, definitely. But on the other hand, that leaves open Tassadar and Tychus, and of course, uh, you can see my Sandy immediately picking up Tassadar. Tassadar, of course, with his major control, with the Oracle, with the Psy Storms, with pretty much anything you want. He can be a, an assassin. He can be more of a support, although you don't see that all too often. Uh, he can fit in as a specialist pusher. Whatever you want. Uh, Tassadar has it. On the other side though, at least open both Falstad and Tychus for SK Gaming, two of the most sought after uh, heroes for the assassin role. So it's going to be very curious whether Mind Sanity is going to be able to pick up enough damage for their team because, well, you're already dealing with the loss of those two assassins. Okay, you have Nova, you have Raynor, you have Vala to uh, compensate, but they also just don't match up. Lately, we've also seen Kerrigan quite a few times, uh, in the last couple of days at least, and she wasn't picked up in a while. But um, I think my insanity is initially going to pick the uh, really good warriors now, since they don't have to go for the assassins right away, unless, uh, unless SK wants to go for a really heavy assassin composition, which we've seen out of alternate quite a few times, but dealing with that, or actually handling that really squishy uh, team composition, um, I mean, that's just a whole nother deal. Yeah, definitely. Uh, also now Uther and Artis now being picked up by Minus Sanity, and Artis is always a hero that has been valued differently over the time. I mean, there, there have been weeks that we haven't seen a single Artis, and it looks like he has been revived like a phoenix from the ashes. He's, he's back here yeah. as one of the top tier picks, whereas, well, I'm expecting SK Gaming to start picking up Tyrael to go with the combination of both uh, Falstad and his Shock and Awe. But Stitches plus Tyrael, maybe. I think Tyrael will be coming in. Um, since Oh, it's actually Stitches before. But a Nuber rack to follow it up. Okay. Works uh, well. I like that combination quite a bit. I mean, um, having felt that on the team and a Nuber rack, that's always a nice synergy between these two heroes. Um, you get the Lion Stun and the Shock and Awe follow up. Um, makes for a nice little wombo combo. Uh, Stitches, of course, uh, really a good addition to any team. Mm -hmm. This is always good. I mean, those hooks, they can turn team fights around, and at the same time, well, like you said, Nubrak, just a very, very tanky hero. For SK Gaming, they have a good front line, they have a good back line. Uh, they only need to pick up a support, and I'm expecting a Rhaegar coming out of SK Gaming. 
But by insanity, they still need to pick up their second assassin, and they still need to pick up their uh, second warrior. So I'm expecting, uh, well, it could be a Vala, but there's so much CC already to lock up the strafe. It's going to be a bit hard. I'm maybe a Zagara to help with the clearing out of those. I don't know uh, how plants. keen uh, my insanity is on on Zagara pickups. Um, we should. Yep, there it is. It's Shen. Yeah, Shen so, makes Yeah, he's been picking up some popularity as well. Uh, indeed, he has. Um, initially, we've only seen him in the on the ANA scene, and in the last couple, there yeah, a couple a couple of weeks, he had also made quite a splash in in the EU scene. So, a uh, solid pickup on Shen, definitely. Mm -hmm. And now we should be seeing an assassin, which we all also talked about the entire time. Um, Nova is always a possibility, uh, especially if you have Uther on your team. Um, since you do get that nice CC and you can do the precision strike follow-up. Yeah, that's the uh, beauty, of course, of Nova in such a uh, setup. The issue, though, is that you don't really have Tyrael. If, if they Nova. were, yeah, if they were going to be picking up Nova, I would have expected Tyrael over the Chen, even though yeah. he has that nice route. Uh, that is true, but I think my insanity is going for the um, yeah really standard EU meta, which is right now going for these sustainy compositions, and it's also something. Well, I mean, SK is a little bit more on the balanced side. They have two warriors, uh, two assassins, and of course their main support. While my insanity is spotting two warriors. And, well, one main assassin, one semi-assassin, and their main support. So, uh, my insanity a little bit, yeah, shifting towards that uh, newer style, but it's also a little bit more volatile, depending on which kind of talents you take. Yeah, exactly. But, as expected, the Rhaegar being picked up here by SK Gaming to round out the composition. Uh, before we start, I'm going to try and get the uh, face cam online so people can actually see me. Uh, Ooh, I think that's a first, right? That is a first. So, we are going to have... It is a grand finals. I mean, I have to pull out all stops. Uh, issue is that I'm not going to be able to use my main computer, I guess. I have I, I have found a laptop with a webcam. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll have to fix that. Tonight. Tonight. Uh, if you can see my little... Um, I got a little uh, yeah, ghetto, uh, ghetto microphone set up. I didn't have a microphone uh, stand, so kind of <laughs> custom, customized one until mine gets here. Uh, let's see, what can I do? I can put the laptop here, I guess. Yeah, this is, this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Make, it, make it work. I'm going to be using uh, one laptop for the... Uh, rather, I'm going to use my computer for Heroes. You know what, I can just plot, I can just turn off... My, I can just use my uh, laptop for Heroes and then we are fixed as well, but... Uh, let's see, how can I, how can I fix this? Um, well, Paul, if you keep... Well, yeah, I'll I'll just ent entertain our viewers. Um, let's talk about these compositions a little bit more. You said that Tyrael would have been a nicer pickup uh, alongside Nova, on which I agree. But I think uh, they do love their Shen because Shen is a really solid option on Garden of Terror. You can hop him, uh, let him hop in into the Garden Terror, and he's one of those heroes that is really hard to take out. Um, he's a little bit like. Tasta out of the way, but I feel even more strongly about him since um, he can pop his heroic and then just split into the three forms and always get away. I mean, if you don't miss that hitting uh, hitting the hard key at the right time, which we've seen a couple of times before, um, especially if there's uh, yeah DDoS issues on the EU server or um, yeah some kind of lag. But um, he can always get away. I mean, uh, if you pop that just before you die and then try to get away, um, yeah, it usually works. And that's, yeah, it's perfect for these situations where you pop out of the, um, where you pop out of the Garden Terror. All right, and we are loading into the game. Uh, did you get your cam set up? Not quite. Hopefully he'll get back to us soon, uh, with the game starting now. So I can't really fix it before the game. It's going to take a little while. That's all right. That's all right. Perhaps I mean, for uh, game two. Perhaps for game two. That's good enough. That's good enough. I feel. And um, we are loading into Garden Terror. Uh, one thing. One thing to note here: SK Gaming does have a really nice. Uh, um, 
long distance reach heroes with Anubarak, with Stitches, Felstead, Tychus, uh, everything really um, yeah, uh, long long distance shots yeah. for once. Uh, let me fix this here. Yeah, I'm currently just uh, seeing what I can do, whether it's going to be a another account that's logging in and then giving this the video call on one account and then giving you the <laughs> giving you well, the audio it's fine for now we'll we'll just do it for for the other one all right so let's get started here we are on dragonshire and on the left side of the map we have uh, as dragonshire Oh, wait, we, we are in Garden Tower, that's correct. Um, on the left side of the map, we have our blue team, and they are my insanity, with Ace of Spades on Uther, Shinobo on Nova, Fred's playing Arthas, Ragi is playing Tassadar, and in the bot lane, we have Lowell. Yeah, on, on the Shen. other side, we have Zarmini we playing on the Tychus, Lynx playing on the Rhaegar, BKB playing on the Nubarak, the Scape playing the Stitches, and finally it's BZ on the Felstat, and already SK doing what SK does best, setting up for the hook. If the hook lands, it's going to be an instant kill there, and immediately oh, Fred's, Fred's taking quite a bit of damage. Singled out. Yeah, he, he did get away for now, and with Shinobu moving in there, and uh, Lowell helping out as well down here, uh, they should be fine in getting out of this team fight. But BKB yep. got pretty low, and um, they will try to set up another uh, another gank. BKB hiding in the bushes there. Maybe he can make something happen, but Fred's getting in into position again, and Descape missing his hook. Yeah, very well done there with the hook, almost getting the uh, getting the hook down. But uh, Lowell, on the other hand, he should be able to actually jump out of it there with his kick. So oh, not really Shinobu hiding in the bushes. Yeah, Shinobu might be in a lot of trouble. There's the knockup. He's in a lot of trouble as the slow goes out as well. But from the rear, here's Fred's coming in with the root as well as BZ though. Shinobu, Shinobu is the first to fall. Now we're on to Fred's. Fred's in a lot of trouble to escape. We'll have his hook up in just a few seconds. Will he be able to land it? He does land the slam. Uh, hook. Oh, hook. a nice hook. slow coming out of Fred's, but the hook, hook hits! And Link getting out of position. Oh, if they would have had BZ and Link in position, they could have taken Arthas out here as well. But uh, Descape has to get back to the mana well, get a, a little bit of mana in. And BZ is pretty low, so I don't think they're gonna try to force the fight here. Uh, Shinobu is still out there waiting and Descape missing her for some reason. So not really watching out for that glimmer on that cloaked hero. And uh, yeah. they did grab a couple of coins here. Yeah, they, they managed to get their plant going up to 40 Cs. Now they're onto Ace of Space. Ace of Space getting hooked straight back in. Here's a knockup coming out of SK Gaming. Ace of Space still with the heal. The rest of his team now coming in as well. Lowell doing so much damage together with his team as he tanks up the damage at the same time. First one going down. It is going to be Stitches. Now they're onto Zarmini. Fred has to retreat here. So Ace of Space coming in again for another heal. Fred still taking quite a bit of damage from the overdrive. And it is going to be a 1 for 0 for now. Although, Shinobu, can he get it? Oh, that was so close. Uh, might he get a f final kill? No, Linked does heal him back up and Tychus will get away here. And they did get two kills out of that fight, so a uh, really good fight by SK Gaming. And taking out BKB is really vital early on, because um, he really holds the other team up. Uh, BKB and Stitches, of course, um, are one of the main pillars here for my insanity. Yeah, SK Gaming in the meantime though, they uh, while they might be behind in kills, they are ahead in seeds. They should be able to at least get themselves a plant terror if they get one of these two uh, big uh, plant spawns. Oh, Ace of Spades is in trouble there. He gets healed back up and there's the stun on Zarmini, but he's completely body blocked and a nice pick up here for my insanity. Uh, also at the same time, busy leaving the game. That's not really what you want to happen. I'm hoping that he can come back into the game. Uh, BZ had connection issues though. all day today. Um, uh, he did uh, in the previous game uh, SK versus Mouse Sports as well. Um, that was going on in the Frey TV Invitational. So hopefully it's not going to happen in one of those really important moments. In, yeah, when you have really clutch decisions to be made. Yeah, but for now it is going to be SK Gaming picking up the easy camp first. They're leaving their plan terror for now, and what I expect them to do is. Uh, aggro that hard camp, then send someone back to base to actually get themselves that golem. Yeah, they're yep, going to be exactly. sending easy back. And then mm. after they get all their camps, or rather they're also going to be aggro running the bottom camp, if they aggro that one, they can use the golem to uh, lock up the rest of the camp. So 
You can see BZ at his own golem, he's waiting, and now he's going to take it as Anubarak BKB is going to aggro this mercenary camp in the bottom side of the map. Yeah, no seats, uh, or not enough seats rather, for SK Gaming yet, so they will have to wait one more night until they have enough seats for their terror. And it's always uh, one of those tricky situations if you don't have a garden terror to go up against the opponent. Because that really puts you on the spot, you have to defend somehow, and you always have to wait and maybe even defend in multiple lanes as BZ is coming into the top lane alongside the Knights and he will lay on the siege here in the top lane and already doing some good damage on these towers, they're getting quite low, already running out of ammo and we have my insanity pushing in the mid as well. Um, I think your overlay is uh, mixed up though, uh, Paul. According to what the uh, Twitch chat is saying, you might want to switch around to SK and uh, Mind Sanity. Oh, never mind. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Now, BZ in the top lane, he's doing a little bit of a number on these towers, but fortunately, there are three members coming out of the Mind Sanity team trying to deal with him. BZ knows he has about 20 seconds left to make something happen in this top lane. Can't quite make the siege. Uh, happen, but at the same time, the escape and BKB are putting down a lot of pressure onto these towers in the bottom lane together with their me with their mercenaries. Zarmany and Lynx are coming in as well. They're going to be picking up this uh, these towers, and finally, BZ is going to be losing his plan terror, but managed to pop, pop down a bulb, and that should at least take down the uh, gate and. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about yeah, it. Yeah, really solid split push coming out of Mayan Sandy. Uh, they might even get the first fort here in the bottom lane. Yet yeah, it's going to fall. Uh, SK had to, uh, Mayan Sandy had to stick, take a step back there and let that one slip. And uh, yeah, top was uh, pushed down pretty well um, by BZ. He took out the gates, he took out the towers. So they're in a good spot to take out the top lane next. I like what, uh, I, I definitely like what the team of SK uh, is doing right now. And my oh. is going to try and counter this one with the easy camp, but they're getting engaged upon as BKB goes in. There's the overdrive coming out of Zarmini as well. Aragi going into his ghost form. The precision strike, it gets cancelled by the RK, uh, the ancestral healing actually. And now is the triple, um, triple Pama coming out of Lowell, but it looks like SK is going to be winning this fight. A nice divine st storm though, locking up Zarmini to escape and linked. But is it going to be enough? No, I doubt it. My insanity is going to be forced to retreat and SK winning this fight just barely though. Oh, the hook almost getting loud there, but uh, he got away just in time. And now we have nighttime again, which means my insanity um, will get those additional seats soon. They're up to 70, so um, they only have a few seats left to get in their Garden Terror. But uh, right now, SK going for the seats straight away. And we should have a look at the talents now, since they are both in level 10, and we already saw a couple in action. The Archon on Tassadar, Precision Strike on Nova, Shen is playing with Storm, Earth and Fire, and Army of the Dead and Arthas, and Uther took Divine Storm, but they're about to engage in another teamfight, so uh, let's jump into that. Yeah, there's the hook on the Ace of Space, he's going to take a little bit of damage, the hammer onto the escape is going to stop him from further engaging. And it looks like it is just a little scuffle there between the two teams. SK deciding we want this uh, uh, plan shambler, and the Mayan Sanity is coming in from the rear. They're looking for the engage, and there they go. Ace of Space moving in, he gets the stun on Deathscape and Zamni, but they move out of the way. BZ is taking quite a bit of hits, but Lau going down pretty low. He drinks his brew and gets back up. But Zarmini, he's in the middle there, getting healed back up. Ace of Spades had to get quite the fire there. And Anubarak goes down. Link also falling here. And wow, Mind Sanity really controlling this fight so far. But Zarmini, he's pretty low. He gets down as well. That's 3 for 0 right now. There comes the hook on Ace of Spades. But uh, Deathscape doesn't have a follow up here with BZ also being so low. Yeah, and this is going to be a very big planned golem for the team of my insanity so very well done by them they win this team fight and now they're probably going to repeat the same trick that SK was trying to do by just taking the easy camps at, uh, before actually growing their plant at least that's what I expect oh no it's not going to happen my, Lowell is more than happy with just taking it right now to deny um, SK the uh, plant shambler here in the bottom side and maybe fight him there yeah, maybe they want to surprise him right here. Uh, BKB is already in position, uh, hitting on that plant terror, and now they are retreating. There's the slow on BKB, and 
Brad's moving in, but they can't seem to get quite the right engagement angle. There comes the Ancestral Healing on Deathscape, but he can't get away. And taking so much fire, Precision Strike comes in, but it wasn't even needed here. He was taken out before that. And now it's my insanity one more time. That will take even more seeds. Lao going to the bot lane and dishing out the damage, trying to get that siege going. And it looks like it will. Yeah, he's doing a fine job here, so just tossing down his uh, curses all, all over the place as my the rest of my insanity is just dealing with the Shambler. Right now, there's 82 to 78 in um, seats, so this is also a very good position for my insanity for the next night as Ace of Spades comes into the rear. They lock up oh, an amazing he's stun. Down here. So much damage, and BC, he left the game right as this fight broke out, so unfortunately, for the team of SK. Yeah, they really need BZ in that fight. Oh, and even getting Polymorph there. Um, he's still not back into the fight, and Lao dishing out quite a bit of damage, and there falls that falls in the bot. I mean, um, falls that bot, definitely not as clever as BZ, so they should get him back in the game, otherwise they might run into issues here. Although, falls that bot, not as smart as BZ. Some people like to question that. <laughs> I've been told. No, no, no. He's been back, he's back in the game now, <laughs> and we have... My insanity already setting up for the next gank, but it looks like a good position out of SK. But linked? Oh, wow! That burst damage on linked and Deathscape also getting quite a bit of fire. There comes the orbital strike. Deathscape is really low. Maybe one more strike on him and he will fall here. Fred's getting the final blow there. And now it's five against three. But doesn't look like my insanity wants to really commit to this yet. They're gonna just steal, uh, be happy with stealing the easy giants down here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my insanity, they're in a very good position, but they do realize that if they fall, uh, if they lose a team fight uh, or if they allow Shinobu to get jumped upon, they're going to be in just as bad a situation as they were before. So for now, I'm expecting my insanity to just go around, pick up all the easy camps and hard, or rather, all the mercenary camps, set up for the next night, and then get ready to actually fight against SK. They only need to take down one Shamber that gives them their their plant go uh, terror. That should uh, be happening in the next 30 seconds at most. Yeah, they already have the easy uh, the easy camp and should be finishing up here with the knights as uh, soon. Yeah, Fred's getting that right away. And now they will rotate back up and get the remaining camp here. Shen is already on it and Nova joining in for the defense in the top lane because the knights are coming in and they will need all the help they can get to keep this fort alive. There they are, already getting the first hits in. The ammo is out on the fort, so they will need all heroes here to stop these knights. Yeah, definitely, because they don't have the uh, option of losing it right now, and that's not just because of the fact that the fort is worth 2,000 experience, it's also because SK is, uh, yeah, SK is behind. And when you're behind, the mechanics of Heroes of the Storm are so that, th uh, that you actually get additional experience uh, based on how far you are behind. One level, not so much, but still, it is quite a bit. Escape, he's trying to land the hook. He's still dealing a lot of damage to SK. Uh, SK's uh, gate and towers. SK is forced to fall back for now. Sea Giants are moving in. Going yeah, they just want to get rid of well. the Sea Giants and then they'll be fine. They lost the gates, which is unfortunate, but um, they will keep the Sea Giants at bay. And with that, keep their fort alive. And so far, one fort uh, down for either of these teams. So uh, they're still in a good spot, but. Um, my insanity, like they have they... the level advantage and they're waiting, they're lurking and they want to get that they want to get that engagement in but nope, not gonna happen here and Deskate missing his hook on Oragi so, um, yeah safe for now on SK Gaming's side but let's check out the level 16 talents on my insanity they have Dimensional Warp on Tassada Overdrive on Nova, Combination Attack on Chen and Stone Skin on Arthas, the Gathering Radiance on Uther yeah, and on and the other side we now have Anubarak picking up Rewind, Stone Skin on Tychus, Overdrive on Falstad, Earthgrasp Totem on uh, on Regar, and Pulverize on Stitches. Stitches, of course, going for the full on slam build. Whereas, uh, if we're looking at, for instance, Tassadar, well, he's going for the standard build. Not nothing special about that. Both teams they now have a Golem, so they should be, uh, or rather, they both have a Terror. If we're looking at the respawn times of the camps, well. There's nothing they really can pick up at this point, at least not for my insanity. So They're they just wait. start to kill them. Uh, they yep. just start to terror out. 
yeah, you always want to wait until the opposing team takes theirs, and then you have to immediately react and take yours. Um, so you get there in time to fight the actual uh, opposing Garden Terror. But you do want to have that little bit of extra time. So um, being in the defense, you can take it a little bit later. And there we go, Siege has been laid down on the top lane. Uh, Shinobu trying to get rid of it, and looks like he does. Yeah, now the plant terrors are uh, actually fighting with each other. There's a hook onto Lowell. Lowell is taking quite a bit of damage, but it looks like a little bit of a disengage here as my insanity is forced back. However, they're lying away for the next fight. Yeah, they're waiting. Uh, this is always the dance you see. You want to get your uh, opposing team's Garden Terror a little bit lower, but um, don't want to overexpose your own Garden Terror. So uh, it's always this dance around the big boys. And there we have the Oracle on our Ragi. Really important because they have Deathscape hiding in the bushes and Fred's going in, trying to get a move on Deathscape. But he's immediately being engaged upon and now ooh, it's SK Gaming actually retreating back to their own fort. And BKB trying to body block Lao to keep him out of the game. But it looks like Lao is getting hooked in. He's in a lot of trouble here. He's taking quite a bit of damage. Although BKB is also going dangerously low. Both land terrors now popping their bulbs. But it looks like Mind Sanity is going to have to retreat. The Precision Strike is just going to scratch BKB, but not the rest of the team. And now with uh, both Land Terrors going out of battle, it is a heroic battle here on the top lane. Lowell, Lowell taking quite a bit of damage, but he pops his ultimate. And BKBs are caught in the middle there, but he does deep dive away. And Ufer is taken out uh, on Mind Sanity's side. But SK is still on the run. Lowell is back in there and he's taking quite a bit of damage, but he does pop out of his, uh, out of his ultimate and is fine for now. But Nova, they caught her out there with her, some nice body blocking coming out of SK. So overall, a really good fight for them. Two heroes down for nothing and they will get the top fort as well. There comes the steal here by BZ. Uh, just bribing those giants and they will go down on the top lane uh, get a little bit more damage in and we see mind uh, SK gaming going for uh, some additional uh, some additional mercs yeah, SK gaming is going to be picking those up getting themselves into position for the next fight as they are pushing down the middle lane that's going to be the final fort for my insanity that is going to go down and again <laughs> it's Falstad bot here who actually uses his overdrive a little bit curious here but then again they're going to be uh, blocking out these mercenary camps. SK Gaming in a very good position to actually start taking home this game. They have taken down two forts. The issue though is that, well, if they cannot uh, start laying the pressure down onto the onto the keeps here, SK Gaming is... I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think that SK Gaming is in a position to actually continue fighting if BZ continues disconnecting here. Yeah, that's a really big issue. They really need his shock and art to hit in the right place. And if it's the bot playing, um, uh, they're in a big trouble. They're definitely in big trouble. But they did get all the siege shines, and um, that's really important. Oh, the orbit strike coming in, but deep diving out here by BKB. The escape is in trouble down there, but Zamni helping him out in the Do Odin farm. But he is slowed, and Lao jumps on top of him. There's the ancestral healing coming in. He stays alive for now, but the oh, CC out of Ufer. Getting him stunned there, and BZ also caught out of position. Lowell jumping on top of him, there comes the slow again, and BZ is taken out as well. Now the entire team of SK is on the run, Zomni is getting jumped upon, there comes the stun out of BKB, keeping Lowell back, and it looks like they will keep their remaining heroes safe, but no! Lowell jumps back in there, and now he's in trouble, because they do get a little bit more damage in on him, and BKB diving out, wow, really good retreat cutting out of SK. Yeah, SK uh, does manage to survive, however, this fight definitely went over to my insanity, who are now just going to set up for their own plan for both planned terrors. They're moving towards the top side, they're looking to actually secure the kill into his army, but for, for now they're more than happy with just picking up these little plants here, just because it will allow them to pick up their planned terror of their own. In this case, usually you want to uh, save your planned terror a little bit longer, I'm expecting them to go immediately for their plant terror just to stop the mercenary camps from getting there plus it will allow them to fight the, uh, the mega shamblers that are now uh, being uh, taken here by SK 
gaming. Yeah, ooh, and actually, they really uh, want to surprise like me right now. He's going to be moving towards the bottom line. Ooh, and the escape will escape spot it out, out. and oh no, he's not quite getting the hook. And SK moving out of that position. That was way too risky for them. But Fretz, he's caught out of position. He's going to go straight in there. And Zarmini linked, and BKB jumping on top of him. There comes the orbital strike. Zarmini does jump out of it, and there's the ancestral healing, keeping him alive. So he is still fine. Fretz jumps jumps in there. Descape is caught out of position, but another healing coming in. He is stunned though, and Shinobo, ooh, taking quite a bit of damage, but they do get away for now. Fred's caught out of position, and they get him. Now does Pup his ultimate, and he does get away. So, last minute ultimate out of him. EKB trying to get go for Ace of Spades, and there's the stun on him. Can they body block him? Ooh, tricky move here by him, jumping back and popping his ultimate. Can he stay alive? Nope. Nope, he can't. And SK Gaming taking out two heroes in that engagement and grabbing their own Garden Terror now, going for more and more seats. And uh, this is gonna give them a nice edge here. They can. Oh no, what a move! Mind Sanity going straight. Uh, oh, actually. No, wait, never mind. That was SK going straight for their Garden Terror. I'm a little bit surprised. They could have picked up uh, a couple of uh, mercenaries on their side of the map. And uh, that would have been nice to follow that up alongside the Garden Terror, but now uh, we'll have to see how they make it work. Are you still there, Techno? I'm still there. Uh, the Garden okay. Terror was available, but it wasn't used by my insanity, so that's also a loss of a Garden Terror. That's something you don't want to have happen, but that was just because my insanity was a little bit too busy with trying to actually Get themselves into the team. Uh, get themselves into that team fight and try and force SK away. But, well, <laughs> costing a Garden Terror and now also giving uh, SK pretty much the access to the second one with just six seats. Things are looking really bad for my sanity here. Yeah, Fred's is already getting polymorphed and they will rotate down. The gates are already gone here, and let's see if Zarmini can put on the siege here. He should be able to. He has his bulb. He's just going to be putting down a little bit of a curse, and as my insanity is n not going to do anything but trying to uh, force SK away from this one. The shield onto the uh, keep is going to keep it alive a little bit longer, but the pl the bulb is going to come down, and at that point, I'm expecting uh, SK to make a move and perhaps go straight onto the keep and smash it down. My insanity, they have to respond, and they have to do it now. Yeah, Zarmini is still trying to get the siege down, but so far uh, Mind Sanity has been doing a good job trying to defend that. The fort is taking a lot of damage nevertheless though, and now it's SK's gaming turn. They will get that keep and yeah, get a little bit of an XP lead and not quite as vital now. Let's have a look at the talents though. Uh, while Zarmini is on the retreat, the timer is up and Descape's hook not quite hitting there. And that was a strange yes. look there, yeah. Not yeah, that looked a little bit weird, but oh wow, we have Mind Sanity moving in. Ace of Spades already on top of BKB. The Odin is popped, and everyone is in one line. Uh, BZ going for it. his ultimate, and Ace of Spades with the CC. Getting at least a new Barak. Put down here, Link there is trying to get onto Shinobu, but Shinobu gets hooked back by the escape. Is that going to allow him to escape? No, it isn't. Now Lowell finally popping his ultimate, and this is the moment Lowell was waiting for. BZ is dangerously low. If he actually jumps straight onto BZ, which he is chasing down, he might get the kill into Falstead. He will get the kill into Falstead, but here's the big red button coming out of Zarmini. Link now jumping in to escape, desperately trying to stop Lowell from getting out of there. Lowell, he has nowhere to run at this point. He's trying to get out, but for now, the only thing he can do is just delay the team of SK Gaming. He has returned to the storm, so he will be able to immediately re uh, return to the battlefield together with Freds, but uh, the two of them most likely aren't going to be able to withstand the uh, full-on assault by SK Gaming. Yeah, we also have Resurgence on Anubarak and Stitches, so if something goes wrong, they can get back as well, but it looks like they just want to go for the core, dealing a lot of damage. This shield's already gone, it's down to 85%. And only Lao and Freds are still alive. They're doing the best they can, but the ancestral healing coming out of Linked is keeping him himself alive this time. And it looks like BKB and Zarmini can dish out the damage. And BZ leaving again just as it ends. But it was enough, even with the bot, and they take out the core. First game goes to SK Gaming.
was a very, very, very uh, close game at the start. It looked like Mindsand, he was going to take this one home, but it was eventually SK Gaming who was able to get themselves that lead. I would have to say, if there's one thing that completely turned the tides here, it was the fact that Mind Sanity in that last fight, they lost the ability to make a plant golem. And I think that if they were able to do that, then maybe they could have uh, at least uh, stayed, uh, or at least pushed away uh, SK's golem. So, or at least yeah. their terror. I was a little bit confused by that move on SK's part, but uh, if you think about it, I mean, it all made sense in the end. They actually uh, managed to stop the Golem from going up on, on Mind Sanity's part, and that allowed them to put on this massive amount of pressure and get the keep and then go for the final blow. So it all made sense in the end, and um, yeah, allowed them to uh, finish this game and made, made the turnaround happen here for uh, SK. So we're going to go into a quick commercial break and we should be right back with the draft for the second game. So stay tuned. Yeah. And we are back, fellas, and we should be going into the second game here in the Grand Finals between My Insanity and SK Gaming in the Heroes Premier League soon. Great mark. Um, we're just waiting on the players to get ready for the next draft, and I have a lobby invite coming up. Uh, so, uh, Raymond, did you get your uh, cam set up? So, or is that still in progress? You gotta unmute yourself, though. I guess he's still working on it. Um, maybe while we wait, uh, I did capture one thing, uh, one fight here. So let me get that up and see if I find a good spot to jump in. Okay, where are we? Oh, this is it. All right, so here we are. Um, yeah, this was just when uh, SK wanted to go for their, uh, oh no, actually Mind Sanity wanted to go for their Garden Terror down um, in the bottom half of the map. And then they uh, turned back around since they saw that SK was going for the top one and they wanted to surprise him. Now we have Ace of Spades caught a little bit out of position and no one on my insanity's part actually being in, in position to help him out and they really focus down the pressure on him then bkb moves in with his amazing line stun getting shinobo and ace of spades and uh yeah he's taking a lot of damage but there comes the stun on Deathscape, and bkb can't really stay in the fight he already took a lot of damage and linked um already put out his healing and he's quite low on mana and uh this is actually bkb's downfall he got uh, he gets slowed here by arthas and there goes the final blow and that really turns the fight Lowell, luckily enough does get away and stitches also taken out so with anubarak and stitches gone on 
uh, SK's part, they really have no chance to stay in this fight. But Freds was a little bit over eager and took a lot of damage here. And in the end, I think there was a little bit of a misclick, but Araragi kept him alive. And I think uh, SK should have gotten out of, that, out of that fight a little bit earlier. Uh, this could have uh, turned out way worse with Link also going down. And I think Zarmini in the end, he did get away here. But uh, yeah, that was just one of the fights here uh, in the middle. And I'll check if I can get a couple more fights up for the uh, in the next match. Alright, so are you back, uh, Techno? Oh, he's still working on his cam. Alright, do we have the draft set up? Not quite yet. There we go. Oh, you're back. Sweet. Yes, I was fixing my... Uh, fixing the account, so give me one second. Let's see. Uh, techno... Okay, so do you have like a second account for the video or yes. how do you want me to do it? Okay, I'm going to, uh, let's see, techno, okay, I'm fixing the, uh, fixing the contact now, so give me a second, it should be there, yes, it, it is by far the best thing there is, so I need, okay, sounds complicated, accept, and I'm going to add it to the call, okay, why can't I add techno cam to the call? There we go. <laughs> yes, techno cam. <laughs> it's it's the patented techno cam coming in. Can you, right. see, can you see techno cam? Techno cam says hi. Um, give me it's... a sec. I need to set it up uh, locally on my side, but it should work. I hope it works. Uh, it's not getting into the call yet. Uh, it should be. I hope. Uh, it's maybe just restart it if it doesn't work. Yeah. I'm hoping it works. Apparently. By the way, the next map is going to be Cursed Hollow. Nice. Not one of those maps you usually see in the pro scene, but since we are going into a best of five here, uh, it does happen every once in a while. No, uh, Cursed Hollow is like the uh, the one I see. Oh wait, never mind. Cursed Hollow. Um, I confused it with Haunted Mines <laughs> right there. Yeah, it's actually one of the maps you see every time. Yeah, exactly. What are you doing? Map. So I see. Uh, I see Techno Cam. Do you see Techno Cam? No, it's not working. Okay, then I'll do it a different way. Oh wait, it's there now. Yeah, it's there. Hello. Okay, now I gotta fix it in here. Because this is a little bit different than... I'm trying uh, to actually... Uh... Yeah, the, the issue is the Technocam is standing right next to me. Technocam. <laughs> and uh, no, I'm... I, I'm <laughs> I, I might have the same... Uh... Technocam. <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can fix it up. I, I'm waiting uh, for it. This Techno cam is here. It's all very much uh, work in progress, and <laughs> it's not working out as well as I expected. But yeah, I think we're we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, Techno cam is here. Now I just gotta fix it in the draft screen as well. Uh, okay, so where are we? There we are. Oh, a draft might be a little bit different. Draft is going to be fun with this uh, techno cam here. Yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit troublesome. Let's see. I can actually open it. Are they already drafting? though? they aren't. No, for some reason they're not. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think I got it. Do you have the techno cam? Let's see. Oh god, <laughs> techno cam on stream. It's it's also like the most. Uh, I hope that the connection will remain stable. I'm it's trying good to so get... far. It's good so far. It's looking like that. Yeah. So this is the techno cam. I I now need to work between the two screens. So. Uh... <laughs> Let's see how that works. Um. Um. I'm just asking the players uh, if they have a draft up yet. Or um, if they need a short break. It's, it's doing enough. Uh, now nobody is a moderator. Nice. Hmm. I, I am still waiting for your, uh, the uh, techno cam to actually come into the screen. Uh, if if I, 
if I actually knew I was going to be uh, on on stream, I should have uh, I should have put on my suit, <laughs> full on cast mode. Ah, oh, jeez, don't do the suit. You can do the suit if you're a pro caster. I am a community pro caster. casters. It doesn't work. I am a pro caster. <laughs> you're a pro caster. Okay. I am a pro caster. Good. Then, then you're allowed to put on the suit. I, I love how my uh, little thing uh, deal with it is now on the screen. <laughs> Excellent. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. It's gonna. It's gonna be um gone in a few seconds. Oh God. Why? Yes. Okay. Just... They're ready for the draft. Um. <laughs> it's okay, going. They're everywhere. trying to fix the disconnect on BZ. Yes. Yes. You're doing something. Oh God. <laughs> you're you're putting it. Oh no. What are you doing? <laughs> it all worked itself out in the end. Just stay calm. <laughs> Stay calm and uh, cast uh, matches, right? Hello, guys! <laughs> and now, now you also have to fix it for the draft mode, of course. Yeah, um, that I did. And then uh, we have the draft started by <laughs> Ace of Spades soon. At least they're asking for first pick. I'm hoping. Uh, are they asking? F they should have first yeah. right? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah. No, wait, never mind. They don't. Uh, uh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, Mind Sanity had first pick in, in the first round, so they should have it now, right? Yeah, SK has it right now. Well, <laughs> well. And SK is already ready, so we we'll just have to wait a few more seconds until Mind Sanity gets in there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love how the uh, there's a two minute delay on stream, and I can see how silly I, silly I am. Well, it looks like they wanted to get even sillier. Shirtless techno. <laughs> no that's, tank. <laughs> that no, one, please no, that's not. I have to look at it as well. Don't do it, please. Uh, no, because it's against Twitch TOS. Oh, that's that's right. Um, I cannot. I cannot go. But shirts. you can. You can go low cut shirts. So I guess it's all right. No, no. no that's also uh, that is. Uh, what is it, how, how do I say it? it's uh, prov not provocative? It's. Um, they they had a word for it in the in the uh, new uh, Twitch rules, basically anything that might be uh, that way. Also, you, you now have my uh, <laughs> wow hot <laughs> hot sheep saying, "Okay, going to put uh, something away." Nice. <sighs> All right, uh, we can get started with the draft. SK has the first ban, and they went with Abathur, Not surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Abathur is pretty much every single game. I mean, have we have we ever seen it? Okay, I have seen an Abathur come through last uh, last night, but it didn't work out because well, it was the haunted mines, and we all know how the haunted mines are. Uh, yeah, and that's why sometimes he's not even he's not even banned on haunted mines uh, if that does yeah. happen to um, to be the map you play on. And now we have the ban out of my insanity coming up, and it's felt that surprisingly enough. Um, <laughs> he was pretty powerful last game, but the issue is that leaves open Tychus, and... Oh, yep, yeah, he is picked up first. Yeah. And last game they picked up Falstad first and went for Tychus second. And now we have the first initial picks here for my insanity, which is Tasla. And I would expect Uther again. But yeah, let's uh, see what they make happen here. On the flip side, though, if we're looking at uh, Uther here, you could also argue that they aren't going to pick up Uther because SK Gaming might want to pick up Rhaegar again. To yeah, go but with the I don't know. I've, in the last week or so, uh, Rhaegar has a little bit fallen out of favor, um, at least in Europe. Um, you still see him picked every once in a while, but then again, there aren't that many main supports that you can go for. Um, and... I don't know, I wouldn't see him picked up as one of the first heroes here. And ooh, we see Illidan on my insanity side really early on. Well, they really want to get rid of both of those assassins, I imagine. I mean, last game they banned out the Illidan. And this game they banned out the file set and immediately pick up the Illidan just to make sure that SK cannot pick up Illidan. I, I mean, this is total, totally respecting SK in that regard. And SK? Going for Stitches. Yeah, uh, same picks as last time. I mean, Stitches and then probably... Are they going to follow it up, uh, up with a, a Nubarak? I, I would like to see it. Um, BKB did a really good job on him. And um, 
He's a really solid warrior, one of those dynamic heroes that you can play in a variety of roles. And, well, it's Uther. <laughs> but that... Yeah, it is going to be Uther, so yeah, that doesn't combo all that well with the Tychus Odin. I mean, Uther, well, giving a lot of healing over time and uh, a lot of burst heal as well, but um, the, the ultimate burst coming out of Rogar with his ancestral healing... He, I, I, I don't know. I, I really like that with a second uh, health bar hero. And given that we now have Tassar and we have Illidan on the side of my insanity, I wouldn't put it past them f uh, to actually pick up Rhaegar in their regard because they already have those two um, double hit bar uh, heroes. But for, for now, I'm expecting double warrior to come out and letting uh, Rhaegar sit there until the last pick because, well, SK Gaming, they do not need to pick up another support in this case. Yeah, uh, indeed, very much. Uh, oh, looks like something happened in the draft. I'm not quite certain. Uh, nothing happened. It's Rhaegar. Uh, it's Rhaegar coming in for my insanity. You know, they talked about something um, that's going on, but I think it's just the players entering the lobby, so it's all good. Uh, all good for now. And Rhaegar, once again. Okay. Um, interesting that my insanity wants to go for, for him again. Could be indicative for more uh, assassins to come and only go for a single warrior. Um, and then you just take Ancestral Healing like last game. Uh, kind of as, as a trade-off point. But they really want to get uh, some more... Um, they want to get some heroes that have a long distance engage. Otherwise they might run into issues. Oh, and Arth is being picked up. Hmm, Arthas. now they really hmm. need a ranged hero. Yeah, that's kind of the uh, the thing with picking up... Uh, well, you could build Illidan as a more tanky hero, though. You have Stone Skin, you have the First Aid. You have the Metamorphosis, which gives additional health. Um, you could build him as a Brawler and then uh, follow up with maybe something akin to a... Rainer as the final pick, just to be a little bit tanky, but at the same time deal quite a bit of damage. Oh, it's an Uber Rack again by yeah. SK. So it uh, looks really similar to last game. I think uh, Tychus was on my insanity side last game, right? Uh, yeah, Tychus was on my insanity's uh, side as they picked up both. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, my insanity picked up Tassadar and SK picked up uh, Tychus and Faust oh, okay. at the same time. And then that, that was uh, when my insanity got their hands on Uther and... Uh, Artus, because they decided not to okay. uh, pick up Tyrael there. And so the swap him. is Uther, yeah. uh, essentially. Uh, I gotta say, I mean, looks like a good swap to me so far. Now, um, I'm kind of interested if they... Yeah, they, I mean, they should be going for another assassin as their last pick. Uh, but who will they pick up? Uh, Zeratul is still an option, but then again, you have Tassila on the opposing team with his Oracle. And that kind of diminishes his return as far as the cloaking is concerned. But you still have Void Prison, uh, which can be useful, uh, especially on Cursed Hollow, where you have these really um, narrow pathways where you can put down the Void Prison and just keep the entire opposing team out of the fight for a few seconds. What? Um, ETC? I'm confused here. I'm getting the feeling that this might have been a, uh, a random pick. Let's see. I didn't see drafting done. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um... <laughs> oh gee, <laughs> last pick is Vala. Vala. Okay. That makes a lot more sense. I mean, you're dealing with Illidan who has no stun. You have Rhaegar who has no stun. You have Tassar who has no stun. You have Artus who has no stun. So there's no way uh, that unless they pick up a, I mean, it should be a warrior, I guess, uh, that they should be picking up here. Yeah, but who are they going to go for? Um, maybe Chen. But no, Tyrael's still up for grabs. Tyrael Let's see if my insanity is going to pick up Tyrael here. Tyrael would work wonders here, I imagine. Tyrael would work pretty well because it would allow them to jump straight onto Vala or onto uh, Tychus and just nuke him down with uh, with the help of uh, Illidan there. Yeah, you really want to get rid of uh, one of these heroes. And, well, I mean, there's always... Okay, oh, it's Rainer, as Rainer, expected. okay. Yeah, Rainer. <laughs> He's uh, somewhat tanky and... 
Uh, well, he, he's one of the tankiest of the assassins. Yeah, so, I think it's um, regeneration. Uh, regeneration. But that's still a little bit of a, a squishy setup out of my insanity. But that gives them the ability to do a lot of burst damage. And, I mean, they will have to play a... Um, yeah, they will have to put out a good, solid early game, maybe get a couple more kills in, get ahead by a level, maybe two, and that would give them a solid advantage later on, but they can't really get behind with this composition. No, that's, that's, a, that's a given. Right, so uh, we're currently waiting for all the players to get themselves into the lobby itself. Um, I'm TechnoLink, I'm here with uh, GGX Shock, and now you can see who is TechnoLink. Well, I'm here, hello. After after all the time, it's the hype it's for the techno cam, right? <laughs> I can just turn it off like this. Now now it's gone. <laughs> that works. It's a little bit dark, but I think they can see you. Like, I I would have to fix it to get your entire head in, but that's my entire head. It is it that big? <laughs> wow, wow. BM. Well, you kind of have that giraffe thing going on, but I think that's just the angle. Yeah, that's de that's definitely the angle. I mean, I can turn it down. I can turn it up. And now it's even worse. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> It's a laptop. Come on, work with me, GX. Uh, I, I, I like I like the angle. I like the angle. It's it's making it it's making it funny. I mean, come on, I can just do this and then it's a lot less. I mean, but I, I I could I mean at least I don't have a silly haircut. Then again, I don't have any hair, so <laughs> well. <laughs> Wow, I, I I love the chat already. The chat is pretty funny. ETC. Yeah, they want to see ETC. Yeah, exactly. I guess I can do this, and then nobody sees me. I think ETC is is a hero that might be coming back uh, into the meta eventually. Um, he can he can be quite strong, uh, especially on maps uh, where you need that long distance engage. Um, for example, on Blackheart's Bay, I mean, you can really turn a fight with him and the stage dive. On, on Cursed Hollow, I mean, it's a lot safer to just go for the long distance uh, disrupts by Anubarag, uh, Tychus, or, st or Stitches. Um, you don't wanna, you don't really wanna jump in with a stage dive uh, with ETC there. And it looks mm -hmm. like the players are ready, so we can jump into the game here pretty soon. I hope. I I sincerely hope so. I mean, we have ten out of ten ready. Cast is ready. And then we can also lock in at the same time. So we're going to go get ourselves into game number two. Uh, SK Gaming currently 1-0 up. It's a best of five. Curse Hollow is the next map. And this map was picked by Mind Sanity, if I'm not mistaken. Um, right? Mind Sanity picked Curse Hollow. Because Mind yeah, Sanity they, gets... Exactly. Yep, you're right. Um, they are the uh, top seed, which means they got uh, the first pick but not the first map um, map ban which means this should be yeah that should be theirs all right and we're loading into the map mm -hmm. um, eight bagels is asking if that wouldn't de disqualify them and uh, no it doesn't actually because the uh, drafting is sometimes bugged and if both teams agree that it was just one of those uh, timeout uh, time out, time out, random drafts. Then it's quite all right, and um, yeah, I think both of these guys or by both of these teams are actually um, really sportsmanlike. So that's how it worked out. Right. So loading screen. Who's playing on the potato? Has to be busy. Better better have a bot than busy. That's going to be the uh, the new catchphrase of us. <laughs> Hopefully they fixed it. Um, they did something in between games to get it fixed, but then again, if I mean, if it's been going on for the last couple of hours, then uh, it might not be that easy to get him to stop the disconnects. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. Uh, people are like, aha, ball jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I can make them. I mean, come on. I, I, I have some hair on the back of my head, though. But... Uh... <laughs> All right, let's get started here. We are on Cursed Hollow, and on the left side of the map, as the blue team, we have SK Gaming, and they have Linked on Uther, Desk playing Stitches, BKB on Anubarak, and in the top lane, Zarmini on Vala, and Tychus joining the mid lane here is played by BZ. And on the other side, it is the team of mine, Santi, with Aragi in the top lane. In the mid lane, Freds, Shinobu, and Lowell, and in the bottom lane, it is going to be Ace of Spades on Ragar. So, the, um, the gates have opened. What I expect coming out of uh, SK, there is one brush at the bottom or at the uh, 
top side of the map and on the uh, near the hoof, and that's where they usually hide in. That's that's what they do every single game, and you can already see it. BKB, BZ, and Lynx, they're just sitting there. It's like a uh, a bro party. Yep, uh, it's that bush in the middle, and if we just have a look like this, um, it's like really obvious in the middle. So what you usually see is just the single shot in there, or even yeah, uh, maybe Shinobu's actually doing it. Nope, not going for it. Uh, seeing a storm in there um, just to stun those out and get the vision here. But no, oh, they're just gonna try to get on top. BKB already getting in position, but Rats is trying to get the counter aggression going, and it looks like this is not gonna be the engagement uh, they will have here. Yeah, SK is way too uh, mobile at the moment. Vala has, has her vault. You have Tigers with his dash. You have, of course, a noob rack with his deep tunnel. Or well, it's not really a deep tunnel. It's a burrow charge. But still, um, it, it's so hard to actually catch onto one of these uh, slippery critters. And that's going to be a little bit hard on the uh, side of my sanity because if we're looking at what they've picked up, the only actual root down that they have is going to be the root coming out of Artis. And well. I sincerely fear for my Insanity team fights because they can no, not lock down either Vala or uh, Tychus in this regard. Yeah, both easy giants have been grabbed, and yeah, I think you're right. They're not they're not gonna have an easy time here to lock down heroes early on. Uh, they will have to um, yeah they will have to rely on just pure damage output out of Reyna, out of Illidan, and maybe some solid, yeah, some really good solid uh, body blocking. Otherwise, uh, it's not gonna work out quite as easily. There comes the stun on Freds, and he has to get away, but BZ not really following him. Lowell also getting away behind the wall. Zamani not really putting on the pressure there, um, but a really solid stun coming out of BKB initially. Yeah, very well done They're right there. Shinobu at the same time uh, was coming in from the mid lane to try and help with a little bit of defense, but uh, was immediately stopped by Link there with a hammer to the face. And well, he was like, stop, hammer time, and stopped Shinobu in his tracks. Now Link moving back into the middle lane, going to be dealing with Tassadar right there. And uh, for now though, BKB and BZ, they're just sitting here. They're waiting for their opportunity. And another thing that's really important here is that the top towers are now out of ammo. And that means that Aragi doesn't really have any defenses for himself. Actually, it's Freds and Milo. They're coming in. Freds in a lot of trouble. He might just go down here. One more hit. That's the end of uh, Freds right there. Now they're to Lowell. And Zarmany, well, can't really uh, deal the finishing blow there. Yeah, he did. Um, he did get away and a jump on top there. But um, Freds... I don't know why they actually went for that. They only had a Ragi in position and no one for the lockdown. So um, that was a little bit risky, especially with the nice stun that you have on the Nubarak. And I don't know, not really worth it all that much. Uh, they could have just sit back and maybe wait a little until they go for the Knights. It does look like Illidan is thinking about grabbing the Knights. Nope, but he does turn back. So uh, not gonna go for that quite yet. Instead, they're setting up to get the disrupt on here on the knights on es uh, escape, SK's part. Yeah, but uh, my sanity is not going to be able to actually uh, push SK off this hard camp. Shinobu is going to try and maybe make something happen. Actually, Linky runs straight at the low with Shinobu and the Azos Fates, but the knockup coming out of BKB is more than enough. And this is the issue that SK is going to be running into as they have to stay near their night camp or they're going to lose it. And a beautiful interruption there by my sanity. BKB barely escaped. No, he doesn't. It was damage over time that got him. And SK gaming on the back foot in this fight. Yeah, amazing steal here by them. Um, the Knights have almost been dealt with, but yeah, getting the kill on Anubarak and the Knights at the same time, really good timing to grab that uh, or go for that Knights, uh, Knights camp steal. Um, yeah, pretty perfect here by my insanity, and that does give him um, the retribution here in the kills. One to one, and both, both teams have reached level 7 now. So let's check out those talents, but we no, uh, we gotta check out the tribute first. The first tribute has spawned here in the bottom left side of the map, and they already tried to engage here. There comes the hook on Shinobu, and he's trapped behind there, but uses the phase shift to get away. Yeah, Shinobu is going to be surviving this one, and the entire team of my sanity is standing right next to him. They're going to try and get that distribute as Fred is going to be uh, 
but at least channeling it. Aragi now coming in. He's doing a little bit of damage here to BKB, trying to force him away. But the shields of BKB are just a little bit too much. There's the hook of the Shinobu, but he has the dimensional shift to actually get out of there. And the fight breaks out. BKB is in a lot of trouble. He's tanking up all the damage. He might even go down, but Lowell is completely chasing him down. He's jumping onto Lynx. Although Lowell now getting a hammer to the face. That's going to be the stun onto Lowell. Lowell goes down and still Lynx in the background. Putting down some healing with his Uther. They're desperately trying to disengage from this one, but it is going to be Descape, who has no escape, as My Insanity picks up a kill against SK, and it looks like My Insanity is a very good position right now. Yeah, even grabbing the Tribute, so one to one in the Tribute fight right now, and yeah, I mean, I think that Stitches wanted to get, uh, wanted to get Arthas there with the last hook, but that actually uh, sacrificed himself, so... I don't know, maybe not the right decision to go for him, but he thought, okay, maybe I can grab him and then try to run away. But uh, in the end, uh, that was his demise. And now we have the easy camp being taken in the top lane on mine's LMSK's part. And the knights will be grabbed here by my insanity. Yeah, so easy camp versus the hard camp. It's not really a trade you want, but it should at least put a little bit of pressure in that top lane. For now, the levels are equal. Heroic abilities now attained by the team of Mind Sanity. We're most likely going to be seeing the Archon coming out of uh, Tassadar. Rainer, of course, with the Rainer's Raiders. Illidan with the Metamorphosis. Rhaegar with the Ancestral Healing. And Artus hasn't really picked up his uh, ultimate yet, but... I, I, I doubt, doubt that he's going for yeah. Syndragosa. You see oh, that right. so rarely. Yeah, good Ooh. one, <laughs> Reyna. Reyna has been picked up, uh, probably uh, because they had a pretty large push coming in the top lane with these Siege Giants and with Reyna out of position, uh, this should um, give them an easy time here in the top lane to take out the fort maybe, but nope, they will turn around and go for the next tribute. Or actually, nope, they're gonna go for the steal on the boss. That's actually a smart move here by SK Gaming, they know that they have the push going in the top lane, they know they have the Siege Giants uh, up and running, and they know that their opponents aren't going to get the curse if they lose this tribute. So they're going to go for this golem, going to pick it up, allow the golem to continue pushing together with the siege giants, and then maybe rotate to their own golem to try and pick that one up as well. So while uh, while my insanity did manage to pick up the tribute, uh, SK now rotating, moving straight to Fred's. Fred's popping his E. And we'll be able to actually hook onto Fred's, but... Uh, oh, and there comes the Gorge, but he won't get him quite close to the gate, but it's enough, and the body blocking coming in out of Descape. Good job, the Ancestral Healing keeping him back up, and Descape might go down here, they will turn around this fight, but the Odin form has been topped, and they can hide behind the wall. So they're in a good spot, and might even get a pick up here. Nope, uh, there comes the retreat out of my insanity, and they will get away here. Yeah, my insanity actually has to retreat. They have to deal with this Grave Golem in the top lane, and that should allow SK to go for their own Grave Golem. And they're going to be picking that one up. In the meantime, let's take a quick look at the talents uh, before we actually go any further. Stitches again going for the slam build, as we saw last game. Tigers for the ability based build. Same goes for Vala, who's been picking up, uh, well, multi shot, but hasn't picked up. Uh, well, I I'm not entirely sure. I would say that Vala is going for a more attack based build but is going to be tossing in some abilities yes. between shots. Uh, Uther, getting a, sh getting a protective shield, cleanse, and dense weight stone. So it's, it's an interesting setup here for the team of SK Gaming. On the other hand, my Sandy also has some interesting talents. Yeah, my Sandy, they still have to deal with these minions in the top lane, but they should be going for this tribute, really. I mean, uh, they already have two tributes grabbed, and now, S and now SK had enough time to actually get into position and uh, set up this capture. There comes the storm on the escape. Uh, they can disrupt for now, but now the fighting begins here. There's the ultimate out of Ulthor and getting Freds and Shinobo trapped there a little bit, but the escape? Nope. He couldn't quite, uh, he did grab the tribute, but uh, couldn't be disrupted here by my insanity. I don't know why they, uh, I don't know why they did that. They should have gotten this tribute. Yeah, this tribute should have definitely gone over to my insanity, but SK Gaming, you have to give it to them. With the uh, map advantage that they have, with the fact that they actually pulled away from the Grave Golem here, the boss camp, um, I, I like their decision making. Their decision making is fast and effective, and even though sometimes it might not work out as they suspect, there's not all that much of uh, diddly daddling and also second guessing themselves. They just go for it. They they make a decision and they go. And that's what I like here about the play from SK Gaming. My insanity, yeah, they're reaching the point where they're 
composition is going to be starting to hurt themselves. I mean, it's not as strong as the uh, SK composition. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, they should have gotten a lot better team fights and probably a lot more pickups early on. And now that we have reached that level uh, 10 on both teams, um, yeah, they're a little bit more. I mean, it's not really that uh, squishy setup that you sometimes see uh, in the EU scene right now, but it's it's a little bit more geared towards that style, and they should have gotten a little bit more pickups with that. Um, but it's it's still an even game. Um, five forts for my insanity and six forts for SK, and one of those forts might actually fall soon. But both teams have two tributes right now, so it's gonna be a big fight coming in here for this tribute. Right now, my insanity already in position, but Link does get the disrupt off. Yeah, very well done here. Now Fred's jumping straight into Link. Link trying to get out there. He's he has Lowell on his back, but the channel is still going. Azel Space might get a tribute here, but the slam coming out from the escape is going to be cancelling that one. Now they're onto this uh, onto Fred's. He gets gorged straight into uh, stitches. The transformation coming out as well, but the divine storm so so late. Nicely saved there, but Link is going to be saving his team for a little bit longer. But the tribute is unguarded now by SK, and my insanity has the hell to actually start taking that one down. So I'm expecting Ace of Spades to take this tribute, and that will allow my insanity. Oh, a beautiful heal there from Link, and a continuation of the fight. It's just such a long fight, but finally, it's most likely going to be Ace of Spades picking this one up. Yeah, but my insanity, they're quite low on the manor, and there comes the disrupt again, and a nice hook on Ace of Spades, but they don't have a follow-up ready. Ace of Spades does get away, and Fred's quite low down there. My Lowell as well. Fred's will go down. Lowell in trouble as well. I think Deathscape will have that hook available pretty soon here. Lowell does go in one more time. He wanted to go for BZ, but now Shinobo in trouble as well. He gets picked up, and that's 3 for 0 on SK's side, and they will go for that final pickup on the Tribute, and with that, they have the curse on their side and a nice timing window for the boss as well they will go for the boss it's not gonna do that much more damage during the curse time but that does allow them to maybe even go for the steal on the knights on my insanity side of the map yeah this is a very very good fight and if i'm actually looking at the fight overall it was the healing fountain for sk that got them back into the fight my insanity they could not close the deal and as a result sk was able to regenerate get a nice grenade off uh, coming out of Zarmony, a uh, correction out of BZ, and that allowed them to just smash this entire fight. And now, not only do they get the bottom fort, they also got the middle fort, and they're rotating over to Mine Sandy's boss golem, and that's going to be a very, very bad uh, moment for Mine Sandy, as they cannot really fight. Level 6 yeah. abilities now for SK Gaming, well, take us through them, uh, GX. Yeah, uh, we have Pulverize, of course, uh, with the slam build on Stitches, so Hardened Focus is coming in on Uther and Rewind, as you usually see on Anubarak. Then, Blood for Blood on Bella, so um, giving, that her, um, giving her a little bit better fight ability there, and Stone Skin on Tychus to uh, make him a little bit beefier. And yeah, Mind Sanity, they had to go for the defense on the Golem, which did allow SK to pick up the boss, and go for the Knights. So this was really a perfect timing coming in there, uh, winning that last team fight and going for the Tribute right after, uh, grabbing the boss and now stealing a boss and the Knights. Just incredible for them. And this is gonna pile on some real pushing power here on the mid lane and in the bot lane as well. And now even with the steal on the easy giants, uh, on the easy camp here. Pretty yeah. incredible by SK. And only Shinobu and Lowell are actually dealing with the Grave Golem in the top lane. Now finally Ace of Space decides, well, it might be time for me to join in for a little bit of additional damage. This Golem is at least going to take a little bit of the ammo away from the keep here in this top lane. However, in the bottom lane, with the Siege Giants, you already mentioned them, this is going to be at least a little bit of damage onto the keep. Fred's now in... trying to engage here, but can't really get into position. Nice uh, spikes coming out of BKB. And looks like SK Gaming is like, eh, how about no? Yep. Come and chase um, They still have the boss in the top lane, and that's been wailing away here at the keep for quite a while. And it just took the keep out. So they knew they're always going to take out one keep at least. So they don't ho have to over-engage here. They don't have to press on. And there comes the Gorge on Tassadar. Uh, he was still in his ultimate form, but will be popping out now and taking a lot of damage. Does get away with the phase shift. There comes the stun follow up, but he is far enough out. Lao also popping in there and getting BKB. There comes the ancestral healing, keeping him alive. Fred's quite low though. Linked also pretty low. He does go down. Lao jumps on top of him. And they're trying to go for the chase here. 
Mind Sanity um, definitely doing a good job fighting back, but they did lose their keep, so they have to make a, something solid happen here, and it looks like it does work. Taking out three heroes for nil. Really good job here by my insanity, uh, getting back into this game. But they're still on the back foot with that top keep gone. Yeah, the top keep is going to be pressuring their uh, their top lane, or, uh, rather all the catapults in top lane are going to be pressuring their base every single time. However, with 36 seconds still on stitches and SK not in the position to actually combat distribute, SK Gaming has to be a little bit careful here that they don't lose any forts. If they can contain the loss of forts to maybe two forts at most, then they are still in a very good position, but my insanity, they should be a they should use this one to turn things around. The amount of forts that they have to take to actually get themselves ahead in experience is three. If they manage to do that, then SK might be facing a, a loss here. Yeah, they don't have quite the um, massive pushing power that SK just had, but they picked up the curse at the perfect timing. SK was still out of position. Um, so they got that bottom forward without any real issues, and now we'll try to rotate towards mid. I don't think that's the best idea, but um, on the way towards top, they might be able to pick up the knights, and then um, go for the top forward instead once they see that SK is owning position here. Yeah, and the nice damage already being dealt to the gate here in the bottom lane by the, by the creep. Uh, same goes for the top lane though, so... Uh, this is a very good situation for my insanity. If they so desire, they can also just push the middle lane. Hook. Oh, the hook was so hook close so here on close. Lau. It should have actually went through, but I think, uh, yeah, that was that was incredibly close. The curse will still be up for 10 more seconds. So they try to go for the top forward. It already took quite a bit of damage here by these, um, yeah, by being cursed and having a massive minion wave pushing on top of it. And now Lau jumping in there. So they will get all three forts in a single curse. Not bad out of my insanity. Yeah, this at least puts them equal with SK Gaming, and now <laughs> we're looking at uh, equal in uh, experience, equal in tributes, which means that the coming two tributes, SK can just si say, okay, we don't want a tribute, we want to go for the golem. Speaking of going for the golem, the bottom golem boss camp is going to be re respawning in less than zero, in less, well, it's already there, so... <laughs> it's there, it's there already, yeah. and SK, they know that it's up, they know they don't have a short amount of timing, but Clairvoyance has been popped here on my insanity's part, they know SK is coming, and now, oh, BKB wants to go for the steal, but he's taking a lot of damage, healing does come in, and Lau gets picked up, oh, even... Oh, uh, I think even getting Rhaegar in that engagement and Aragi goes down, Fred's caught in the middle there and there goes the capture on the Golem here by SK Gaming. They picked the perfect timing and even though my insanity had the vision with the clear warrants, they couldn't do anything about it. Um, BKB was just so solid there in the middle, just jumping in and um, BKB, I gotta say, I mean, Uther he, did he a did good job keeping him alive. But BKB did what he had to do, he picked up... Uh He's jumped in, tanked a lot of the damage, and now it is going to be SK. They know that they have about 30 seconds to do this core, and they should be able to do that. I mean, uh, it's not really a bald statement, but uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I can. <laughs> that this is game over. SK going 2 to 0 against uh, Mind Sandy in the best of five. So far, um, not looking all too good here for my insanity. I mean, they almost make the comeback happen, but dying at such an inopportune moment there. Um, just when, uh, just when that boss could have been theirs, um, maybe they should have just backed off and dealt with the golem. Because at that point it was still pretty much even. Problem was their first their keep has been taken out, and with that keep gone, they can go straight for the dive on the core, and that's exactly what SK did. Yeah, and exactly. it worked out quite well for them. Yeah, and that, that was the biggest thing. You saw how Fred was forced to keep himself on the beacon. And because he was on the beacon, uh, he couldn't really con uh, contribute to the fight. And SK just capitalized on the f uh, on the fact that Mind Sanity really wanted that Grave Golem. And yeah, I have to gr agree completely with you that giving up the Grave Golem would have been a lot better, given the fact that they were so close in that experience. And maybe if they got their level 20 abilities, they could have had Resurgence of, uh, Resurgence of the Storm. And at least deal with the the push coming out of SK, and I'm I'm actually looking at the stream right now uh, with the uh, golem happening again. So what happens there is basically the golem is engaged upon um, the team of SK. They know that it is going down. That that that's a certainty. BKB coming with the uh, spikes here, just trying to knock up the team, and they're almost there, my insanity. And BKB he comes in right into the fight. He's onto Lowell, 
And then Zarmini comes in with a lot of his damage, and he's completely ignored. Zarmini is allowed to just deal all his, of his damage in the fight, and my Santi does not deal with Zarmini, and that allows SK to just immediately wipe out their team and push through the win. I'll actually show the entire fight again, because that was incredibly vital here. Uh, you can see, the, as you said, the, the boss almost going down and BKB picking the f like the perfect moment to jump in there. Before that we actually had a hook attempt out of Deathcape, uh, which didn't do all that much, but then BKB jumping in and he knows, okay, I'm taking a lot of damage, but Uther going straight for the heal and keeping him alive for quite some time and then an amazing stun um, out of a Nubarak, getting four heroes on my Insanity's part, not doing anything. And yeah, with that, uh, they definitely can turn around this fight. Um, got Shinobu out of uh, out of the engagement as well. And then my insanity doesn't have any more damage dealers to uh, actually turn this around. Araragi also caught out of position, and they just all fall so quickly. So a perfect fight at the just at just the right time for SK. And right. with that, I think we should be taking a short commercial break, and we'll be right back with the third um, third game here in the Grand Finals of the Heroes Premier League Playoffs. Yeah, see you in a bit. All right, and we are back here, and we should be going into the third uh, third game here in the grand finals between SK and My Insanity. Uh, we're still waiting on the draft, but um, it should be coming up here any second. And what was that book? Organic chemistry? Is that what you're studying? That's what I've studied. I've uh, graduated in the uh, in the art of science, also uh, rather in the art of chemical engineering. Yeah, I'm a bachelor of science in chemical engineering. So ah, okay. It's pretty neat. And I'm just showing it to the stream because, well... You actually showed it during the break. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can show it again. I um, it. Did as I a fellow it? scientist, I have to give you the two thumbs up. Yeah, exactly. Organic chemistry. But I hate chemistry. You hate chemistry? What is this? <laughs> physicists, we have to hate chemistry. Well, to be, honest, to be honest, if you are a physicist... One second. Uh, uh, how long is my cable? Yes, my cable is long enough. Techno disappears. Techno disappears. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Techno is back in a few seconds. Oops. If you are a physicist, then I can add. Uh, I can add to it. I, unfortunately. Oh, I have that same exact one here. <laughs> <laughs> Even the same edition, I think, and it used to sit under my desktop, uh, under my monitor, for about five years to have it up in a little higher position. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I used it for studying maybe like a handful of times. Uh, so I, that's about I, it. <laughs> I bought it and I've never used it uh, ever since. Oh crap! 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 There. <laughs> that's the issue. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to uh, Techno's uh, studying life. Ah. Uh, yeah, we can peek into your room. Um, it's all right. I see stuff on your on your desk on your drawer there. Uh, yeah, like game boxes. I'm not too sure. And what are the posters in the back? Uh, Magic Gathering uh, banners. 
Ah. Oh, you said before that you were organizing magic tournaments. Yeah, I'm also. So the, did you uh, did you see last week's a South Park episode? Uh, not yet. I will be watching that one. But uh, I was the uh, Dutch national champion of last year. Wait, are you kidding me? No. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Congrats. Um, I'll let it see. WC thirteen. Uh, let's see. I can I can look it up. Uh, Two thousand thirteen Netherlands. Uh, World Magic Cup. Yeah, I was there. Time to brag. Yes, 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 yes. Um, World Magic Cup. Uh, I can see the invites, I imagine. Invitation list. There we go. Uh, invitations. I can just I can post it into the chat if I want to. I mean, not really like. Uh, if you look there, uh, you can see national champion uh, Netherlands. Me. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, this is. Uh, it's true, fellas. He's, he's not lying. That's him. Wow. <laughs> not too shabby. <laughs> Alright, so uh, people in chat are more talking about how SK is a good team, but excusing yourself here. <laughs> wow. Okay, Linked actually giving a little bit of insight. I like that. Um. I think they're talking about SK versus Alternate, who's who's on top right now. Um, I actually I'm a little bit surprised that SK is leading the series so far, because my insanity they didn't drop a single game in um, in the uh, in the usual weekly um, yeah weekly phase in the rotations in the round robin phase, and um, yeah they were ranked number one the entire time. Now. SK showing them who's boss in these uh, first initial games here. Um, a little bit surprised. Yeah, so apparently everybody can see what I'm doing in my uh, in my stream, so uh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> apparently, four core jester is here, and also uh, people are uh, enjoying themselves here. So, ah uh, man, when are we getting into the game? I want to get into the game. <laughs> All right. So, what would you suggest for my insanity to do right now? Um, they've tried. I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. I'm I'm going to give you guys the techno knowledge. I mean the the tech knowledge. Um, what I would say that my insanity has to do is win three games in a row. Um, that does make sense. If they want to take uh, take home three hundred dollars. They should win three games in a row, otherwise they um, will go home with nothing, yeah. empty-handed. Because it is winner-takes-all tournament from here on out. Um, they actually got the prize money in uh, pretty much last, uh, on last oh, notice. No. no, I disappeared from the uh, from the chat. Oh, you're uh, looking things up on your screen, that's why. Exactly, yeah. that's, that's why <laughs> that happened. Ready to draft. Uh, let's see, casters, game three. Click. It's a beauty of uh, GG Heroes. But I gotta agree, I mean, uh, what Link just said, uh, Alternate is playing a lot more on burst damage potential for the entire team. They usually, at least they try for the first game to go for a 3 assassin composition, and if, if it doesn't turn out quite as well as they like, if they don't get that level advantage early on, then they will go for the little bit more sustain um, sustain talents that gives them a little bit better survivability but early on they will always try to go for that burst damage will try to uh, get some good team kills um, in in the beginning or phase of the game and then yeah um, just rule out with that having a two level advantage even with that composition does give you enough survivability um, on those assassins so um, but you do rely on on the level advantage and if you can't get it that's that's a big issue, and that's also why um, they've had a little bit of trouble yesterday in the um, Arcana Heroes Cup, where they also played in the finals. Um, that is alternate, um, but they managed to turn it around in the end, and that was pretty sweet. So I'm actually pretty excited to see them, or hopefully see them in the next season here of the Heroes Premier League. Mm-hmm. Alright, so still waiting on the draft. Not too sure what's happening. I think uh, Ace of Spades already said they're ready. Yeah, we should be. Uh... But SK not quite there yet. Mm hmm. Yeah, we're, we're just waiting for, uh, for now. Mm <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah. Uh, they're all getting in, so uh, they should be in a good position, and we should get ready here pretty soon. Uh, just one player missing. Who's missing? Uh, we have Maybe Ace. Beasy. But they didn't have any uh, reconnection in. issues uh, in that last game, did they? I didn't notice any. Let's see, Fretz is in, Beasy is in, Arak is in, it's Lowell, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, there he is. All right. Uh, the next map is going to be Blackheart's Bay, so we're still we're still staying clear of haunted mines so far. Mhm. Mm <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mind sanity given given uh, us a okay, little bit of reasoning. Okay, I understand. this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If they wanted well, to, uh, if they had the ability to make a, a to replay that last game, they would just wait in base and um, until they finish. I don't know. <laughs> ah yes, I and I and I see. But in, in any case, um, I propose. Uh, well, who who do you think is going to win here? I mean, uh, is it going to be a two zero uh, a three zero clean sweep for SK Gaming, or is it going to be a uh, well maybe a comeback coming out of my insanity here? Um, so far, it does look like three zero clean sweep for SK, but my insanity, they've. I mean, they've shown some solid games before, and they also still, you know, they they hang uh, they hang in there, and they still doing a good job. And it was always close in the end. I mean, they never had um, like a big big level advantage or anything. So I think on Blackheart Bay, with the objectives just being so important, it's still up for grabs. They can still make the turnaround happen. But you're right; they need to win. They need to win three games in a row, and that's no small feat. <laughs> yeah, that's always very hard. I mean, yeah, also have to consider the uh, mental part of the uh, battle. I mean, if you're two zero down, you're like your back against the wall, and y you have nothing to lose. You only have stuff to gain. On the flip side, though, the moment you lose, it's over. If you also consider the other side of the uh, of the equation, SK can just win right now. I mean, there's also a lot of money that they can suddenly win. They just need one more game, and that might also cause them to slightly, uh, well, how do you say uh, in English? I'm, I'm trying to find the exact words for it. Uh, to stall. Stall. There we go. Okay. That's the... Uh, but uh, I, I like how... Um, I, I agree here with Casadilla that uh, if we're talking about Heroes of the Storm, I like how healing is uh, very important in this game, whereas in if you're looking at other games, usually it's uh, bordering on overpowered or useless itself. <laughs> Always going for the extremes, but yeah, I think it's in a good spot right now. Uh, Ancestry healing, of course, uh, is is a game changer. Mm -hmm. And with the with the meta that's developing right now, where um, you have these team fights that are just going on forever, uh, healing is in extremely vital. And um, I mean, we've seen this change in the last three weeks or so. Three weeks ago, um, there was always, uh, you would always see Bloodlust on Rhaegar, and now you barely see it. Usually it's always uh, Ancestral Healing. And that just goes to show, okay, they really like to keep their, um, keep their heroes alive, uh, keep their warriors alive, and stay in that fight a little bit longer. And that means, of course, um, it's going to be dragged out, um, and it relies more on just solid damage and staying in the fights instead of uh, bursting your opponent down. Mm -hmm. Right, so let's see uh, what is going to be happening, because I'm hoping that we're going to be able to get ourselves into the draft mode in just a few seconds. Uh... Let's see here. I, so, I don't yes. know exactly what's happening. Uh, the players are talking about something, and uh, can you give us get us up to speed? I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Link is getting chat restricted. That's how. Okay, it goes. That, that's that's okay. Yeah, he's reported. So, uh, do, 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 do. Well, actually, I that's I have all right. So I think we'll we'll take another uh, short break before we get into our third game. And hopefully the players will get everything resolved here for the next one. And then we can get started with the draft. So we'll be right back with more Heroes action here on Nexus Champ. Stay tuned.
and we are back with the Heroes Premier League Grand Finals in Europe, My Insanity versus SK Gaming, and this could potentially be the last and final game if SK does take it. And we are ready to go into the draft, so let's do it. Yeah, let's make it happen. Should be uh, pretty much fine, one out of ten players is ready, but uh, if the draft is going to go in the way, yeah, it's going to be Illidan Avatar once again, and immediately My Insanity this time choosing to pick up Tychus now that they have the chance. I um, I was just thinking about this. Um, I would have liked to see a false that first pick, but now it might be coming in for SK, and I think false that is a really important hero here on Black Hearts Bay. Because mm -hmm. he does give you that really nice mobility that's so vital on this map. And there we go, Uther and false that being picked up. So this is turning out like the uh, first match we saw. I think those were pretty much the same exact first picks. Um, Falset was before Uther, but it doesn't really matter if you do have the first initial picks, the two. Yeah, basically. Um, the other, the only thing I want to add on to, because it's Black Hearts Bay and it's about mobility, uh, the other mobile support would have been a Brightwing, so I'm expecting yeah. Brightwing to come out of my insanity in this regard. We've not seen Brightwing tonight, which is a little bit surprising. But, Welcome to um, EU. <laughs> Well, I mean, she was picked the last couple of weeks, and then the trip, like the last three or four days, she's not been picked uh, in too many games. So it's always changing, I, and that's what I love about the scene right now. Um, it's so dyna dynamic and always, always just changing the compositions, team compositions, and different teams like their different styles. And um, yeah, really goes to show there's a lot of potential here um, for an esport. Uh, we have the next pickup, and it is Tassadar. Mm -hmm. And the next one, Tyrael. So we will see Tyrael for the first time in this matchup. So let's see if there's going to be a Nova counter pick coming in out of SK. Otherwise, wow. they might run into trouble with uh, Tyrael, Tychus, and Nova. But that would be no, an incredibly bursty happen. damage, uh, bursty, bursty I, way. I think that Nova is not going to get picked up because they're going to run Tassadar as their pseudo assassin. So they mm -hmm. just pick away Tyrael to make sure that uh, Falstead doesn't get the Shock and Awe combination with the Divine Hurricane. Yeah. I, I, I think that's the thing My Insanity is going for. And now SK, they are going to be picking up Chen and uh, Anubarak, I imagine, to deal with the mobility that, uh, for instance, they, they can actually jump straight onto Tychus or onto uh, Tassadar, whoever they so desire. That yeah, I, I would like to see Anubarak as one of the initial picks. Especially now that uh, my insanity already picked, um, well, I mean, they have two assassins gone. Yep, and a new barrack it is. So that's all working out pretty fine so far for SK. Let's see what the next pick is going to be. I, I would expect an assassin here. Uh, just uh, uh, to get that out of the way. To be honest, I would not expect an assassin. Uh, well, okay, never mind. Y you win. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye. Deck it is out. Valor. Taking so we will see Vala one more time. <laughs> and Vala is a really solid combination with, I mean, the synergy Wombo Combo potential uh, is pretty high here. Um, if you see what I'm getting at, I mean, Anubarak, Stitches and Vala all have that, uh, well, Anubarak has the line stun and then you have the both both the heroics out of Falstead and Vala um, that can just stack on top of that. And that is pretty incredible. But SK... Can they pull it off? I think they have a decent chance to do it. They have a very, very strong... Um, for, for, they, they already have a very strong lineup, and now picking up Rhaegar to go with this lineup, I, I really like it, so that means that my sanity... They have the choice, Artis or Chen. That, that's pretty much what I'm expecting, and, and whoever they don't pick is going to go over to uh, the other team. So, yeah, do they want to deal with the Chen, who can jump on top off anyone, or do they want to go with the art? Uh, do they want to go against the artist who is so sustainy? Um, I well, I think they might go with Arthas uh, just to give a little bit more CC to their uh, to their team. Right now, they only have Tyrael, um, so Arthas would be the wiser pickup. But then again, if you give Chen to the other team, that gives them really good sustainability, and. Combine that uh, with already having um, a Nubarek in there, who can also survive quite well with his uh, deep tunnel. That just spells trouble. 
That it does. Uh, let's see. So it's Chen, as expected. And now SK Gaming, they have the option of picking up artists, but do they really want to do that? Um, I, 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 I say so, but... Artists. Oh, Stitches is open. Oh, oh, Stitches. I forgot about the... Oh, uh, Stitches. That's, that's pretty nice as well. I think this is um, almost well. the same as their initial picks. Uh, let me actually go back to the first draft. Um, I, I like Captain Hook here on this map. I mean, come on, you really need to, <laughs> you really need him on this map. Yeah, and uh, my insanity used to hate Stitches. Like they won't always ban Stitches. It's kind of surprising now that they ban Illidan. But um, when we saw a lot of my insanity a couple of weeks ago before BlizzCon, before they kind of, um, um, yeah. Uh, hide, uh, hit between uh, something there. Um, uh, they used to ban stitches every single game. Mm -hmm. All right, so it looks like the players are about to get started here. Yeah, we're waiting for uh, Tychus in the hands of Shinobu to lock in, and then we can start. Ah, oh, Shinobu's taking a bathroom break. So we're about ready to go into uh, the third game here. It's currently 2-0 for SK. 2-0 for SK. That means that if they win one more, it's all over. And uh, Zomini's saying the calls. Good luck, have fun. Good luck, have fun, boys. I <laughs> it is quite interesting to actually see these guys. So Yeah. Uh, Ace of spades, <laughs> a <laughs> Wow. There comes the banter. Ready to lose three games in a row. <laughs> so um, I think my insanity is, is pretty pretty hyped for this. They want to turn around. Ah oh, man, man, well, man! Come on, come on, Shinobu, get back into the game. We're waiting. Don't for you. don't jinx the dream. Don't jinx the dream. There is no dream to jinx if there is no dream. The the spoon is not real. There is no spoon. There's, there's no spoon, there is no dream. That's how it works. So, um, what do you think about the compositions? How do they, how do they work here on Blackheart's Bay? I, I think they, they, I, I, I am not entirely sure to be honest. They, they can go either way. I like how uh, SK has picked up a highly mobile uh, composition for the uh, harassment and for the moving around the map, picking up those camps, whereas a team, uh, the team of Mind Sanity is going more for the, well, danky, bruisey fi uh, fight style composition that we see coming out of most of these compositions. So I would, I would say that based on pure mobility, it's a case game. Based on overall damage, I would say that Mind Sanity plus, plus the massive engage that they have I guess that they win in that uh, regard. So mm -hmm. it, it's just going to come down to can my insanity deal with the hooks coming out of stitches? Yes or no? No, they lose. Yes, they win. <laughs> that's that's that boiling no it down to the point. Uh, I don't. Know, I'm not sure if I would agree. Um, I would have loved to see a Brightwing instead of Rhaegar, because with Chen and Tyrael, you're already pretty beefy as it is, and Brightwing does give you additional healing, and she would have been fine, and would have given them also the the way to just switch lanes and rotate really fast. Um, but let's see. Let's jump into the game. We have SK Gaming here on the left side of Blackheart's Bay as the blue team one more time. Here he is, BKB, the team captain, on Nubarak. Then we have Deathscape on Stitches. Linked is playing Uther, BZ is playing Felstad, and in the bot lane, we have Zarmini on Valor. And on the other side, we have Ace of Space once again on Rhaegar, Shinobu on Tychus, Freds, this time not playing on Artis, but is playing on. Uh, on. Wow, I can't even pronounce yeah, the material. Too there close we go. Tyrael. Yeah, <laughs> Aragi this time on Tassadar, and finally it's Lowell on Chen, and both teams are moving towards the smiley face, and then suddenly they decide, eh, we don't feel like going to the smiley face. Yeah, this is always um, one of these things that keep happening early on. You have the teams going straight for the tower. If you do have a Felser on your team, like SK has, you can go for the steal on the tower and get the vision right away. And that's uh, exactly what BZ did here, but now he rotates back down. Uh, we'll go for the bot lane, and we might see that fight uh, close to the watchtower after all. 
Yeah, a little bit of a fight. Of course, the vision advantage going over to SK Gaming, who are sending four members into the top lane. So they're going to lose a little bit of experience before the uh, before they send someone down. Lynx and Escape are moving down towards the uh, treasure area where Aragi and Freds are nearby. So the fight breaking out. A lot of damage being put down here by Tychus. Coins mostly going over to Mayan Sanzi. BKB and, and Lynx picking up one coin each in this uh, encounter. Now in the bottom lane, Falstad and Lowell, uh, correction, BZ and Lowell are fighting over this uh, little chest here, but the rest of SK is now moving in. Lowell taking quite a bit of damage. There's the Elder Smite coming out of Freds. Freds is jumping in. He's trying to get some damage down to BZ. BZ is forced to jump straight out there. Freds managed to get away with five of these coins, but SK Gaming has the exact same amount spread yeah. out over all of their heroes. Good pickup here um, by SK. Otherwise, they would have lost out on a lot of coins. And um, yeah, they got they got my insanity pretty low here in this fight as well. Now Shinobu wants to move in. BZ is still quite low, but of course he can dash away and uh, will stay safe for now. Let's have a look at some of these initial talent pickups here. Um, we have extended spikes on Anubarak, a bribe is picked up by Feldstad, Rancor on Vela, Heavy Slam on Stitches, and the Dense Weightstone on Uther. And on the other side, it's the Healing Totem on Rhaegar, it's the Psyon Fusion on Tassadar, Armor Piercing Grounds, of course, on Tyka Styrial, going oh, for nice. the Protection in Death, and of course, the Full Cat coming out of uh, Chen. Protection in Death, um, I haven't seen it before. I like the pickup, but I haven't seen it. I'm also a little bit surprised about the Tassadar pickup, Cyan Fusion, that's not something you usually see. Maybe Araragi has some trouble um, just keeping his mana up, because usually you see the 20% damage increase on the Psy Storm, just to make that wave clear a little bit easier for him. But um, we'll see how that works out, I mean, um, he can still almost clear it, but 20% more. That would have helped out quite a bit here. Um, um. Let's see how he can deal with this mana though. Well, the advantage is that Aragi can now continuously push, and at the same time, uh, it helps with dealing with the uh, channel area. I mean, if you're consistently getting your mana back because you are able to drop it straight on top of your foes, and if it doesn't matter how many coins they have, if they can't hand them in, it's impossible. And with this pickup, I'm ex anticipating Tastar to actually pick up the double size storm later on during the match. Oh, there's a turn in by Freds. Actually, turn in nine coins, so that was really important to go for that straight away. Now he's waiting for SK to go for the turn in, but they just got the knights in the top lane, and uh, that means Mind Sanity will have to react. Ooh, Ace of Spades caught us out of position, but uh, of course, in his wolf form, uh, he can get away, but not with a good hook com in coming on Deathscape, and they do take him out. Nice follow up here by Uther with the stun. And now they have the knights in the top lane. Uh, my insanity will have to do something about this, otherwise they will take a lot of damage here in this top lane. But so far, they want to go for the knights of their own. Smart move here by my insanity. They will pick them up, and now they're actually SK is moving into position to try and deal with my insanity. The hook misses. It just lands onto the gate. So, my insanity, they get away with it for now. But this also helps for Aragi. This is also where Aragi's uh, sidestorm. Uh, additional mana comes into play. I mean, he's getting pretty much his full um, his full investment back when he actually uh, passes. Zarmini mm. yeah. is in trouble, but he spots it and gets away, but ooh, a nice hook coming out of Freds. And Freds is still alive, but they lose a lot of coins there, and BKB tunneling out. He should get away, and with a nice stun, even helping out his team to get away. But Deathscape caught in the middle, there's a nice body blocking coming above Lowell and Ace of Spades, and they jump on the other side. Fred's saving the day and body blocking him one more time. Stitches does go down. So that's two kills for Mind Sanity early on, and this allows them to get the turn in done and get the first barrage going here in the mid lane. Yeah, and that's going to be accelerating uh, Mind Sanity quite a bit, but Aragi now in a lot of trouble. He got the stun. Uh, lost, uh, hit on top of him. The healing ward now coming out as well, but fortunately for Aragi, the rest of my insanity is right in position to actually deal with this push. Uh, the only thing SK has going for them is the fact that their towers were, I believe, strong enough to at least withstand one barrage, so that means that their fort isn't going to go down in one go. It's just going to take a metric ton of damage. Yep, uh, Stitches will grab a couple more coins, so we should see a turn in by SK here pretty soon as well. But Mind Sanity used that time to go for the Knights, so they will have Knights of their own, and they have a lot of coins again. Um, let's check if they actually have enough for the turn in. 
not quite missing just a single coin here so I would expect one of them to go out and get that BKB with the disrupt here on the turn and really vital to buy that time because right now we have a boss engagement here by SK but only Deathscape and Zarmi doing that this is going to take quite a bit of time yeah that's going to hurt them quite a bit but the full turn in once again in favor of my insanity I I'm getting the feeling my uh, SK gaming at this point is just waiting until they can get themselves into a position where they can do a full turn in while the Grave Golem is active. Uh, the, the more damage they can actually put down onto these uh, turrets, onto these gates, the better because that would allow a barrage to actually take down the gates in one go because every, uh, every cannonball will always do the same amount of damage. So, so if, if they can just keep up with my insanity, SK might be able to actually fight back uh, this uh, little bit of a uh, well deficit we that they have right we now. have level 10 talents up now so um, Shen took Storm Earth and Fire we have Judgment on Tyrael Commander Odin is up on Tychus and Archon on Tassadar Rega took Ancestral Healing but the next team fight's happening so we have to jump over there and Fred's wants to engage Link's taking a lot of damage Fred's not really finding his target there comes the stun and BKB taking quite a bit of damage Valor with the follow up but he does get away for now Tyrael's taking out though and Mindset they want to jump on it and Descape, he takes a lot of damage and his body block there, that a nice sandwich out of my insanity. BZ, can he get away? Zarmini is in position, they're on the hunt, they want to get him. Shinobu, does he have a shot? Yes, he has a shot. But, whoa, BZ does get away, Shinobu wants to get that kill. Zarmini also quite low and they get Valor. Wow, what a fight again, my insanity, in a huge... Uh, in a very good position, they turn the fight around, especially engaging on the BKB, but something I would like to point out here is the fact that Falstad landed a four-man shock and awe, and it didn't turn the tides. The only thing it did manage to do was make sure that the uh, ancestral healing coming out of Rhaegar was not even close to enough, and still SK with a one-level deficit, are they going to be able to turn it around? The only, the, the secondary advantage that they have is, of course, that they don't have to turn in as much coins as the, as many coins as their opponents. They they might actually get their full turn in. No, BKB can't. Uh, quite BKB do can't that. be disrupted. Descape missing his hook shot there. Araragi comes in from the top, and there is the final disrupt coming out of Araragi, keeping those coins safe for now. But ooh, he's taking a lot of damage. There comes the ancestral healing, keeping him alive for a little bit longer. Link actually in trouble. There's the judgment. And he is taken out. Now they can might be able to turn this around. Descape is in trouble. Fred tries to body block him. Uh, he does get away for now. Some good healing coming in. Ooh, and there comes the final blow on Stitches. And wow, the ultimate missing here by Felstead. Fred does get away. He is quite low though, and Lau also in trouble. He needs to watch out, but they want to go for BKB. There's a deep tunnel. Can he get away? It's gonna be close. Lau will have just one more jump. Nope, but he does get away here behind the gates. But still, two kills here uh, for my insanity, and they're already two levels ahead. Yeah, two levels ahead, eight coins uh, currently in their hands. They're going to be clearing out these treasure chests as well, as Shinobu has six of them ready to turn in. Uh, kind of curious why Shinobu didn't immediately go to the turn-in area to get those uh, cannon blasts off. Uh, the only thing that I can imagine is that they want to get their minions to do a little bit more damage to the forts and get themselves into a proper position so they can not only do one turn-in, but most likely try to do turn two turn-ins at the same time. Um, however... This allows the team of SK Gaming to actually get themselves a full uh, barrage. And I believe that SK actually had enough damage on the gates to actually take down the fort in one go here. Uh, we'll see. Um, they had a little bit of damage in. Not enough. But no, this is not going to I don't think it's going to be enough, yeah. Uh, you're right. So not quite the amount of forts that uh, Mind Sanity already has. And Mind Sanity looking to go for that knight, but maybe take out BKB beforehand. Oh, he's in trouble. Shinobu getting behind him. Some nice body blocking coming out, but of course he has the deep dive and does get out of there. So we'll stay safe for now, but he can't do anything about those knights that are going to be taken here any second by my insanity. And stacking on top of that, Siege Shines in the bot lane. They take out the gates, and that allows for an easier team fight later on. Yeah, a lot of damage already being put down here by SK Gaming. Yeah, my sense, he's looking for the engage. He jumps straight onto BKB. BKB just getting wiped here. They're popping the judgment onto him, but is that really the right target there? The shock coming out as well. Nice divine, sto divine storm there by Link. 
Material has already been taken down. So Link is now in, straight in the middle of the enemy team. He's getting popped into his Ghost Swarm. And it looks like with the Odin as well as the Arkham Form now coming out of Mayan Sandy, he should be able to turn it around. Ma uh, Aragi and Shinobu, they're still at full hit points. And it's a one-for-one -one trade. And this looks the closest battle that SK Gaming has fought up till now. Yeah, and I thought that Mind Sanity made the right decision here. Um, that's that's definitely the right thing to do. Um, getting rid of those coins, turning them in, getting the next barrage going, and possibly taking out the next fort here, because um, they were so high, and losing that many coins would have just been, uh, yeah, critical. Um, and SK could have taken out. Um, yeah, I mean they could have taken out at least one or two more heroes here, because uh, Mind Sanity was way too low. So making the right idea, uh, getting the right idea here, and disengaging on that fight. Yeah, so now that we are hitting almost level 16, we're going to take a quick look at the talents, at least for the team of Mind Santi. They already have the Spell, sh uh, spell Shield on Rhaegar, but they should be able to actually... Um, what would Rhaegar pick up in this case? I imagine something like an Earth Grasp Totem. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, double uh, dimensional shift again for Tassar, as usual. We're going to see Tychus with Relentless and Stone Skin, so very, very tanky against the burst heavy team coming out of SK. And finally, it is Combination Attack coming out of Chen and Blood for Blood for Tyrael. So, Tychus going for a more sustained uh, tanky build, where Tyrael's going for the full on smash your face in build. I like it. Yeah, and they can definitely, yeah, they can definitely risk that. Uh, they're two levels ahead. Um, we'll go up to level 17 now. Um, there's still the cooldown timer on the hard camp, so they're not gonna get those. They're not gonna get those knights, but they do have the boss in the top lane now. And with that, that would allow them a really good push here on the top lane. Uh, Zarmini and Link already in position to defend this, and now the remainder of SK is moving into position. The boss is at the gates though, and almost taken it out already. Well, the, so the knights in the back. That's a lot of damage. The one advantage that uh, SK has right now is the fact that the, the, the cannon is actually dealing more damage than my Santi's cannon was before. The disadvantage that they have, look at all the gold in the hands of my Santi. They're going to be losing a, at least a keep for this one. Oh, are they? No, they're at least going to take quite a bit of damage on the keep, that, that's for certain. Full turn in now in favor of my Santi, and my Santi looking very, very strong right now. SK. They're picking up some talents as well. Rewind coming out of Anubrak, Falstad going for the Overdrive, Blood for Blood on Vala. And the, of course, once again, the Slam build coming out of Stitches. And finally, it's Hardened Focus for Uther, which uh, allows him to regenerate, fa uh, regenerate his cooldowns faster if he is above 80% uh, life. And now, we have another fight here. The escape moving straight in. He gets a judgment on top of him, but the Shokana is just a little bit too much. Lowell, he wasn't even focused, but he does get the ancestral healing on top of him, so that's a little bit of a waste. Shinobu has already been popped out of his Odin form. He's desperately trying to get out of there alive. Ace of Space is healing as best as he can. BKB is soaking up so much of the damage, but finally goes down as a result of everything. All the punishment that he has been taken, but Lowell, he was saving his ultimate for this exact moment. Now he's going to be chasing Chasing out the escapes, Linked and Zarmini. Uh, is he going to be able to do, make a kill happen? Linked is going to be stunning up Shinobu. He's going to get turned into his ghost form. That's the end of Link. Now they're onto the escape. There's no escape. There is escape for this game. There is escape. Uh, he does get away, but a good timing out of Lao um, just popping his ultimate there. Um, immediately going on top of. Uh, uh, going on top of SK, and um, yeah, he picked the he picked the exact timing for that. And now going straight for the keep, um, they might even get it here. We still have three heroes on cooldown. A new barrack will be back, and that does give SK a little bit better survivability. But it's taking so much damage already. Uh, looks like they don't want to risk anything. But ooh, nice hook on Araragi. But he does get away with the face shift. Actually, there's knock up to Aragi. They're not going to give that one up. Now Lowell's coming in again. He's really, really low. He doesn't have his ultimate. Now he's going to go down. And it looks like this might be uh, might be the fight that SK was looking for. And Nubarak does go down, though, in the, uh, the midst of battle. Shinobu getting chased down. The Judgment actually finally coming up. Cool. And Zarbini now trying to deal as much damage as he can. String Ray has already been used onto Tigers. They're trying to take him down. Fred down a lot. Fred, what a shock. And oh, hits both Aragi and Tigers. The hook doesn't quite land to Fred. But this is the turnaround that they were waiting for. Now, BZ with the flight, straight onto Ace of Space, the Hammerang, and boom, Arang being used. One more attack, that's the end of Rhaegar, and wow, what a turnaround for SK Gaming here.
yeah, incredible fight for them. Only, uh, only Tyrion and, uh, and Tassel are getting away. Incredible turnaround. Uh, they'd only lost a Nubarak with that, and they picked the perfect time to come back and uh, try to engage in that fight. And now they can make the turn and happen. Uh, they still need a little bit more coins. Uh, I think it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be barely enough for the next barrage. And they already got three fourths down, so they definitely evened this game out. Back in the experience game, uh, both teams have reached level 18. Maybe they can make something happen before level 20 um, will be available. Level 20 is going to be huge because we're most likely going to see a new wreck and Stitch is going to be picking up a resurgence of the storm. Uh, but even even bigger things are happening with uh, Uther, who is most likely going to be picking up the Divine Hurricane, allowing him to lock up the entirety of Mind Sandy for quite some time. And I, I believe that that is pretty much the most important uh, pickup out of all the level 20s. The massive stun that allows Falstad and Vala to go to town on Mind Sanity. But, yeah, again, SK Gaming pulling it back completely. Experience is almost equal, and now they're just going to be setting up for the... I expect... yeah, for the boss camp. That's going to respawn in 20 seconds. Yeah, boss is coming up. I would expect to see a big fight incoming here. Both teams almost level 19. But uh, ooh, it looks like SK wants to set up a gank here at the Knights. Oh, nice pickup. Mind Sandy getting there a little bit earlier and getting that Knight uh, camp already set up. And now I think SK, they will wait here in the bushes for the boss and maybe might be able to pick up the Knights before. Yeah, they're just going to be dealing a little bit of damage to this wave here. They know we're in a good position, we can fight this, we are actually willing to fight it. They're going to get some experience from clearing out the minions as well as the Knights. Now rotating down to uh, looking to set up a gank here, but they have to be a little bit careful here because, of course, the Oracle coming out of Aragi is so, so important. SK Gaming, they decide, well, we see a keep. It's pretty low. Do we want to go in? A blind hook over the wall from the escape. It doesn't hit anyone. And SK Gaming continuing to put on the pressure. Mine Sanity, whoever wins this next team fight is going to be winning the game. Zarmini tumbling straight out of there. Nice gorge on the material. Odin has been bombed, as well as the Arkham. There's the jump of the PC. PC is in a lot of trouble. Actually, he has really got cancelled out. Lowell taking quite a bit of damage here. The entire team hit by the, um, by of course, the shock and awe coming out of Felstad. And SK Gaming now winning this team fight, and they might continue their push down the, t uh, rather up the top lane. Yeah, Odin Form is taking a lot of damage already. Shinobu being body blocked here. They have him sandwiched, they take him out. And that's two for zero again for SK. Really getting uh, yeah, really getting some good team engagements in the late game now. And they will go for the boss straight away. Uh, let's check out how many coins my insanity has right now. Only three coins, so they can't make a big turnaround happen by getting the barrage. And let's see, they're just going for the gates right away. They're going for the keep in the mid lane. Uh, this is... Uh, this is really ballsy. Uh, well, the keep was SK already will low. turn around. The keep was already low, so that's not really the biggest issue. And the, the ballsy thing would be if they actually went for the core. That would be ballsy. <laughs> it would be Especially stupid. Especially with Uther actually making um, making the Hearthstone, uh, using the Hearthstone and getting back. And now chest half spawned. Looks like Feldstead will get the pick up on top, and we might see a little bit of a fight coming in here in bot lane. Nope, SK will grab that without any real issue. Yeah, and at the same time, SK having the boss camp, of course, in the top lane already shoving in that lane. They can actually do the turn in here. They have uh, seven plus four plus four. That's fifteen coins. They don't. They don't have. It. Okay, they have BZ. BZ yeah, is a false that had picked up a lot of coins. Uh, that's actually a little bit dangerous having so many coins on the felt that. And now we will see a team fight here at the turning point. Yeah, PKB uh, is sitting to the side with one coin, so he can go for it. But there's the engage. Oh, there's the engaged. Escape already taking a little bit of damage. Lowell now jumping in there. And there comes the ancestral healing of Fred, keeping him alive. Link going back into the fight. There's a shock and awe, doing a lot of damage. Lowell quite low, so close to dying, but he's kept alive. And the Nubarak is taken out, but Fred's guts go down. And Lowell still in the fight, shielded here by Araragi. He's still alive, and Link taking quite a bit of damage. He sacrifices himself to keep Zarmini and Beezy alive. They might be able to get away here, but no! Beezy jumping on top, and Lowell does take him out. Zamini does jump away, though. A smart hit move here, but the uh, fight continues. Ace of Space and a lot of trouble. One more hit, that's all it takes. The nice deep tunnel there, straight onto Rhaegar. Rhaegar is going to go down. Now Aragi trying to get out of there, uses the dimensional shift. 
The spikes don't quite land onto Araragi, so he's going to be able to walk away from this one. Lowell, going to, or is he? Nice knock up there onto Araragi, but here Spreads coming in from the side, going to try and stop DKB. The escape doing quite a bit of damage onto Lowell. Lowell goes down. There's so many coins! All oh, the coins! But <laughs> look at the coins. The coins going back to Back and forth. Immediately. Wow. Back and forth on the coins, but that was a little bit of an overextension here on SK's part. Um, not too bad right now, but they will lose out on a lot of coins. They did, did have a nice pickup there, but now uh, check this out: Mind Sanity going for the going for the skeletons. They might be able to even pick up the giants and then go for the next turn, and so they will get at least one more keep out of this. Yeah, they're going. They they actually have the the uh, goal to go for the full turn in, but they're somewhat. Uh, cautious in already handing in what they have for now. Shinobu, he's moving in as well, and SK Gaming, they know, okay, this barrage is going over to the enemy team, however, they can't, uh, it, it will cost us a keep. It will most likely cost us the top keep, but that's not all too bad. I mean, there is already a pretty big wave in the top lane, and they already have that advantage. And SK, they're known for rushing the core. They, they do it every single time, and what I expect coming out of SK right now is they're going to set one person up at the uh, hand in point to immediately hand in the the coins so that they take down both the keep in the middle lane as well as start their uh, mauling of the bottom lane as well. So yeah, SK pushing out and then handing in their uh, can, uh, adding, handing in their coins. That's what I expect. Well, we'll see about that. Um, dynamics can change quite a bit now, now that both teams have their storm powers. Um, we have two warriors on each team taking Resurgence of the Storm, so that does change the battles quite a bit. Uh, the Oracle has been popped here by Araragi, and looks like they want to push with these knights. Yeah, but, uh, SK but SK is already in position. <laughs> There's also a stray coin at the easy camp uh, on the side of my Santi, it's just standing there. <laughs> It's like, uh, I'm a coin. That, that always me bugs up. me to have that like one coin sitting there, not captured. And uh, they're going for the knight steal. I like that quite a bit. Um, they could go for another turn in, get the knights first, and then do more more damage, do the split push. Uh, let's see if they can make it happen. SK defending bot lane, but they're rotating back up. They know that something's happening, and they know that the knights will be incoming now. Uh, SK is just waiting for the exact moment where they can go in. And uh, yeah, the same goes for my insanity. Both teams are on the edge of their seats. At least I'm on the edge of my seat as well. As uh, well, it kind of looks like my insanity wanting to pick this fight here if they can get the uh, vision advantage. Oh, busy the love drop, but he gets locked up. Uh, everybody jumping straight on top of him, gets the heal, but beautiful disarmony right there. A lot of damage being put down by BZ, but the Shockenard doesn't hit Lowell because he was doing his ultimate. And, uh, well, it looks like Mine Sandy is going to do a nice wipe here, but the turnaround by the escape and Link, so much damage you can put down to Lowell. Lowell will be dropped very low, but he's going back into his normal form. Now, Zarmini desperately trying to help out his team as much as he can, but it's Descape and BKB who are taking the brunt of the damage. BKB, though, he's got a uh, correction. Descape is going to be uh, put right back into the fight with Resurgence of the Storm. Zarmini now getting jumped on. Goodbye, Zarmini. Or Fault. Oh, he might be able to get away, looks like he can, and Anubarak has taken out one more time, he does have Resurgence, so he can be back in that fight in just a few seconds, and looks like they might be able to push back this uh, push back this fight on the core just one more time, there comes the stun, Freds might be in trouble, and the slam, but no, they have to stay back, they need Uther in this fight, and Hook not quite getting there in time, and Aragi even with the Oracle, wow. just to make sure that they're not being followed. What a fight. SK hanging on by a threat. Uh, although, their core did not take any damage whatsoever. They don't have... They have one uh, one coin they can hand in to this... In the hands of the escape. He's moving into position. But they have to be careful. Resurgence of the Storm is not up for another two... Uh, correction, two minutes. Well, in this case, only one. They're looking to go into the area of the hand in point. The only keep still standing for SK is in the bottom lane. And that means that in both the top lane, in at least the middle lane, there's always going to be a lot of pressure here. Shinobu and Freds, they're standing to the side together with Aragi, looking for the engage here. Lowell now coming in. They're going to go straight onto Link. Beautiful Divine Hurricane there. The Rain of Angels coming out as well. Lowell popping his ultimate, but it's Tyrael who goes down immediately. Easy trying to get out of there. The big 
Rocket did not quite catch on to him. Lowell immediately getting popped out of his ultimate and the continuation of the fight. SK Gaming, they're desperately trying to get out of there. BKB has positioned himself behind the Odin. Lowell going so low and Nice Gorge is going to take him down as Shinobu. He's going to be popped out of his Odin form. Lowell just tanking up all the damage that SK is doing as, as he's trying to uh, dish out as much damage himself as well. Link still healing up the escape, trying to uh, walk away from this one, but it is going to be Anubrak in the background who goes down to Tyrael and Stitches goes down as well. He will have his resurgence though, but uh, unfortunately Anubrak is not so lucky. Yeah, Anubarak uh, really needed in that next fight, and now I think it mi this might be the end. My insanity will try to push the core now. Um, only one keep left standing. I think this is actually a good good time to go for it right now. Only Vela fells that and stitches to stop it, and they still are quite high. There comes the ancestral healing on Lowell, keeping him alive. Faults that does go down, and now only Zarmini is still in the game for SK, and there goes the damage on the core. Wow, my insanity, they will push this down and they will come back here. One to two wow. right now. Is this the beginning? Is this the beginning of the turnaround? I'd like to think so. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, well, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. We don't know. Uh, do we know who picked this map? I believe it was SK Gaming who picked this map or was it by Insanity? Um, it's. Is it always loser pick or just alternating? Oh, it's uh, alternating. So then uh, we had the first map being picked by. Uh, we can see uh, here. SK. So this would have been an SK pick as well. Okay, so SK picked Black Hearts Bay for this map, uh, which means that they they already picked the uh, Garden of Terror that was map one. Then we had the uh, Cursed uh, Hollow that was map two coming out of uh, Mine Sandy. So they can pick either Black Hearts Bay or the Garden of Terror. And then finally we have the black uh, correction, the curse hollow that has to come out of um, come out of SK in the final match. So we know that curse hollow at the very least is going to be played once more. And of maybe, course it is. Maybe they're maybe Mind Sandy wants to be going for uh, Black Hearts Bay here. I mean, they did a fantastic job in this map. Yeah, if, since they do have map choice now, um, playing it one more time and um, just having that possibility of a comeback. I mean, they it worked out so well right now. Why not try it again? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be going to a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with the fourth game between SK Gaming and My Insanity in the HPL playoffs.
And we are back with the Heroes Premier League Grand Finals. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> Raymond's probably taken a, a bathroom break. But um, we do have the next map ready and it's going to be Garden of Terror. So surprisingly, uh, my insanity not going for Blackheart's Bay one more time. But maybe the whole map selection uh, has been a little bit different. But um, I'll ask the teams who actually picked the map. So we get that cleared up. It should have been my insanity's time to pick. So not all of the players are in here. Um, just in regards to last match, uh, the rules would have said that um, I think it was SK that uh, picked up. No, that was the match. Um, that was actually uh, the second map where SK um, picked ETC last, uh, which was, of course, because um, they didn't react in time. And Mind, Mind Sanity uh, was okay with that, that they had the swap for Walla, uh, Valor. So um, that was alright. And if they if both teams agree that it's fine, then um, it's alright. And there was not, it's not going to be a rematch, so everything's good. All right, and Raymond's right. back. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> um, I'll invite you to the lobby, and we're still missing a lot of players, and surprisingly, they did pick Garden of Terror. Yeah, that means that they want to be playing on uh, those types of maps. I mean, Garden of Terror and Curse Hollow, those are the most picked maps in competitive play, and they want to save them for the last. Um, Okay, so it's loser's choice, and SK is going for Garden of Terror. I believe it's not loser's choice. Yeah, but this is BKB telling me this. I don't know if they know the rules. <laughs> Maybe something went wrong in the last uh, map. Well, whatever. Map pick, one team can pick a map only once. Yeah. I'm, not, and I'm not entirely sure. We should ask the admins, that's why we have admins. That's why we don't have to worry about how things are going, because we are casters, and those are admins. Or, those are admins. Or, those are admins. Or Somewhere, somewhere around. Or, everybody's an admin. That's how it works. <laughs> techno has spoken. <laughs> Good techno. <laughs> everybody's an admin. Um, I... I do have a couple of fights saved from that last game. I uh, just gotta check out which one we'll look at. Okay. So, some of the early game fights. Just have to find the right position. Ah, nice. I can't see that though. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk them through it. Right, uh, Freds, of course, was always the first one to initiate here. <laughs> wow. Wow, I love that one. Look, look at us uh, before you go into a fight. Uh, look at the chat. We should do Twitch. Twitch cast hearts. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that uh, channel. Twitch right cast now. hearts. Yes. Get into a Teamspeak channel and everyone cast. No, 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 no. no. We're, we're just going to be reading the uh, r reading the chat. That's how it ah, works. I like that. Switch. It's only going to be Kappa all day long. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. Alright, so um, Fred's always going for the initiation, of course, um, and then Descape, and um, yeah, Descape really doing a good job keeping Linked and BZ uh, safe back there, and now BZ going straight for his Shock and Awe, uh, Fred's already uh, taking a little bit of damage, and this actually, um, yeah, this actually helped out quite a bit, and now we have Zarmony coming in with her ultimate, and popping that Reign of Vengeance straight onto Lau, but of course he's still drinking his brew, and then popping straight into his ultimate, and Link now trapped, of course Lau jumps on top of him, and can't block him out, and Link can't get away whatsoever, and he's taken out first, and then, yeah, they try to go for the chase, but first Descape had to go down, and again, some amazing body blocking coming out of my insanity, keeping Descape on the back, and... They can't do anything about that. Uther tried to go f um, for his for his stun there as well, but uh, only taken out Tyrion in that engagement. Now BZ was on the run. I think did they get the final blow? I, no, I think BZ did get away, but it was pretty close here, especially with Shinobo pop popping his shot out of the Odin. 
And after this, um, there was this turnaround where SK tried to chase him down, and in the end, uh, they got <laughs> one hero but lost two and lost a lot of coins in the process. So um, that would have been one of the ways to to make a comeback happen. But then, overextended a little bit, they wanted to way too much and uh, didn't quite make it work. <laughs> Uh, I love Twitch chat. I love Twitch chat, but I I, I can't see what your I, I can't see your replay, uh, GX. <laughs> Maybe I have an idea. Uh, let's try this. Since we're we're waiting for the draft, anyways. Um, I'll share you my screen. <gasps> my God. This this this, this, this is, is like wrong. this is insane. This is insane right here. The other party can't see you yet. Press the button below. No. Okay. Uh, I'll try. Oh boy. Okay. This this is going on to both. Wants to show videos, accept all videos on his call. Yes, accept it. Alright, so let's do this. Oh, we have to look for the fight again. Let's see, this is where they caught BKB out of position, but of course with the deep tunnel he does get away. And then... Uh, <laughs> it's Can not you see working. It? <laughs> it's not I, working? I see a blur. It's like everything is happening. <laughs> it's uh, okay. <laughs> then let's not try that. <laughs> no, 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 no. That seems like okay. a bad plan. Give me a sec to turn it back off. <laughs> I love it. Well, we tried, so it's all good. Oh, the copper faces are coming in. I shouldn't have mentioned it. All right, so let's try this one more time. All righty. So, sea giants have been grabbed by my insanity. They did some damage there, um, and now going for the knights straight away. And I believe they got the knights and then went straight out of that fight. Mm -hmm. Nope. Before. We had the initiation here on BKB, and Uther, of course, jumping in there, trying to save and uh, yeah, save BKB. But he took so much damage, and then being pushed back there. But with a deep dive, he does get away one more time, and there's linked with the amazing stun, and he got almost the entire team except for Araragi. And Araragi by himself can't go, um, yeah, he can't go so deep that um, he's on SK's territory. So Fred's caught out of position again. Fretz was always a little bit over eager on, on TRL, so uh, he was always the first to fall, which is okay if you take out um, if you take out two heroes in exchange or take out the warrior on on SK's part, like they did. I mean, they got uh, they got Anubarak quite a few times, so um, that's always what you wanna what, what you wanna trade for, trade mm -hmm. TRL for um, at least one or two warriors, and then you can still win the team fight overall. In any Shinobu case, popped an amazing, uh, popped an amazing shot here, mm -hmm. and then they trapped Link one more time and finally got him down. Yeah, it's the issue. I can't really see that. Uh, I'm expecting shadow play or something. <laughs> wow. And anyhow, um, yeah, we're still waiting for the next draft to start. Uh, game number four, Garden of Terror, according to uh, what I'm seeing here. But uh, yeah, so uh, GX, what do you think? Is my insanity going to go for the for the three zero uh, back sweep, or are we going to see SK just saying, "Hey, my insanity, I'm really happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish, but but we're going to take this uh, three hundred dollars." Um, to be honest, Garden of Terror was so incredibly strong for SK. This was the first map we played on. They had an amazing show. Um, they just showed how strong they are, um, picking those. Picking those great timings, uh, when to go for the Garden Terror, when to deny the opposing Garden Terror. And, I mean, that was incredibly strong, so I would expect him to go for the 3-1 and take um, take home the $300 right now. Mm -hmm. But then, then again, think about it. I mean, they've been playing since, what, uh, 3, uh, 3 p.m. tonight? So, they've been playing for hours on end. And that's that's all fine and dandy if you just play scrims all day. But if you're actually concentrating, playing tournaments, that's a lot of pressure. And I don't know if they can cope with it. This is still a young team. I mean, as as all Heroes teams are. So we'll, we'll see if they can actually cope with it. Okay, so they will need a clarification on how the map picking process works. Mm -hmm. Um. And you talk to the admins so we know what's up. But they're all leaving the lobby now, so I would think that maybe it's a little bit different. <laughs> I also left the lobby like a boss. I, I can do that. I can do that. 
Uh, oh, can you tell me why I'm a, like sometimes I will be able to leave lobbies and it actually says leave oh, lobby yeah, and sometimes it's only change mode? Is yeah, there... that's because you're the host of the lobby then. Ah, okay. So I'm usually the host. That well, if, you, if you're the last one in the lobby, you automatically get turned into the, into the host. Ah, so I need to leave before everyone else. That makes sense. Or you have to change mode into versus and then... Yeah, that's that's how I did it, but you have to figure it out first and like, okay, what the heck is going on? That's how it works. Right. Alright, we do have a, a few more replays to look at. So you'd have to sit back, but I, I guess that's the best we can do right now. I'll sit back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, ah, whatever, bro, whatever. <laughs> People can enjoy the magnificence that is just technos saying random things, and that's not really different from what I usually do, but... <laughs> Actually, they can't, because we'll jump straight into the draft. We have a draft up. We don't know the map yet. Maybe they opened a new map. Yes, they did. Okay. So the map is going to be Black Hearts Bay, and this is what we talked about before. This is exactly what my insanity wanted. So it is, um, it is the rotating map choice, which means my insanity, of course, going for uh, their favorite map here, going for Black Hearts Bay. That's what they're strong on, and that's what they want to play. And wow, look at that! SK realizing, okay, Shen. Uh, we've been having a lot of trouble dealing with him. Lowell is a really strong Shen player, and going straight for the ban on him. Yeah, and immediately my insanity banning out Avatar, SK Gaming picking up Tychus, which will most likely lead my insanity to pick up the uh, combination of Falstead Tyrael. That's that's what I expect. Uh, or um, they could also go for Tastar in this case. Although that didn't really bring SK much. I believe SK had Tastar last game, and they didn't win. But uh, I Well, know. you don't always win by just picking Tastar, but he's a solid, he's a solid solo laner. And um, a good pickup on pretty much any map. Mm -hmm. Usually, I mean, since he's not banned anymore, he was uh, borderline OP at some point in the meta. And at that point, he was actually banned pretty often. But now, um, he's also just always a pickup in in either team lineup. I can see that my... Let's see if I can fix my... That's it a bit. There we go. Much better. Yeah, well... I, I'm just curious what uh, my Sansi is going to be picking up. I'm ex it should be Tassadar, yeah, there we go. And then they have to follow up with Uther. That's what I expect. This, this is what we've seen out of them. But yeah. Well, though, my Sansi, they tend to break the rules. So, uh, no, they tend to break the rules. The rules of uh, drafting, that is. Like, they, they pick all their heroes at the same time, but SK thinks that they are picking uh, one at a time. They just, well... <laughs> they just don't see it, it's that fast. Uh, by the way, Mopsio, uh, the alternate player, he's, uh, he's just stating in chat that um, SK also started out 2-1 to one versus, uh, versus them yesterday, and they made a turnaround happen. So it's still possible, and yesterday SK was also playing for a long time, and maybe it got on their nerves as well. It so Mind 70 definitely having a chance here. It, they're taking their dear time with the pick, though. Still only 15 seconds. But there is Illidan. So Chen getting banned out by SK Gaming against My Insanity, and Illidan getting picked up by My Insanity against SK Gaming. These teams are really respecting each other's players. I, I have to say this, and this is something you don't see often, especially not in the best of ones that we have been seeing in different events. But in this, this event, because it's the best of five, the... I... I <laughs> I'm very impressed at how adaptive these teams are. Definitely. Always reacting to um, what they've been seeing in these games. And now let's have a look at the draft for the last game. Because we had the Illidan ban by my insanity that time. And a lot of good pickups actually for SK. But possibly, um, well I mean, of course we knew the out we know the outcome now, but um, not not the best pickup. So let's compare these um, to what they're going for now. My insanity, of course, they do have uh, Tesla one more time. Illidan was banned by them. And let's check what SK's counterpicks are. Well, 
they are going to have a hard time if they're going to be picking up Falstead again. But uh, yeah, Illidan is going to be chasing him down. So I'm expecting, yeah, the Falstead is definitely the case. But uh, following it up with an artist to be a little bit more tanky. I mean, we haven't seen artists in the last game, and maybe that's something the SK was missing the big uh, tanky monster that was just standing between them and my insanity. And Artis, he does a fantastic job at doing just that. Yeah, I like the way that SK is picking here. Um, I mean, of course, this does leave um, my insanity open to go for all the other strong warriors, but Arthas already gone uh, does help out quite a bit, and they can pick up Shen. So I'm looking to see Anubarak and possibly even Stitches as well, because those two uh, would be some uh, really well. They do have some really strong synergies and. Um, We've seen Anubarak um, played quite well by my insanity. This is, this is of course true, but uh, Uther is going to get picked up. That makes a lot of sense. But yeah, now it's up to. Uh, I'm I'm not entirely sure. My insanity. Do they want to pick Tyrael away from SK Gaming? That's also a valid possibility. I yeah, mean, that's true. Um, possibly Tyrael instead of Anubarak, but then. I don't know, that would leave him with a lot of melee heroes. Yeah, true enough. On the other and hand... And you do want to have a little bit of range in there. Nubrek is, in all respect, he is a melee hero, so... <laughs> but the advantage with picking up Tyrael is that you open up the Nova pick... Uh, no, you don't, because you don't have a warrior anymore, so... You need two warriors this, at this point. That's the issue that my Santi is running into. They need two warriors, one of which has to be either... Uh, Stitches, uh, Anubarak, or Tyrael, and yeah, here's the Tyrael, as, expe as expected. Okay, they don't have to fear the Nova counterpack, that that would be <laughs> very risky by SK. Um, but of course, you're right, they're not going to pick up Nova uh, by themselves. Uh, they should go for another warrior. Mm. But let's see, what is SK going for now? Um, uh, Anubarak, hands down. Anubarak, yeah. Rhaegar. That, that's going to be the two picks, has to be. Jen is out, Tyrael is out, uh, they already have the artists, so Anubrek Rhaegar, that, that, that is my call, or uh, Anubrek Brightwing. Yeah, I'd love to see Brightwing. We, we talked about her before, that we, we should be seeing her on Blackheart's Bay, but it's not happening, and I don't know, I don't know why exactly. Um, she does help out quite a bit in these teamfights, uh, especially around the turn-in point, uh, if you put those... Uh, if you p use the wins and push everyone back. But not appearing so far, and Rhaegar is going to be the pick, so no Brightwing in this game either. Okay, but Rhaegar, that was to be expected. I mean, come on. It, it, uh, correction. It was either Rhaegar or, or Brightwing, but SK Gaming, they have to pick up a new Rhaegar here, I, I would say. I don't think that they have any other options other than maybe Zagara, but then you're lacking in tankiness, I, I would say. So, a new Rhaegar here. Mm. Or well, Diablo is also an option, but you don't see mm. him often. You don't see him all that often. I think I've not seen him in the pro match uh, whatsoever. Well, I I've seen him in the past, especially with this apocalypse, uh, able to lock everybody up, especially if everybody's uh, nice and cozy uh, around each other. But I don't know. I don't know. I, I, a new break would be the uh, correct pickup, I imagine here. Or um, the other option is to go for. ETC. <laughs> yeah, ETC. It, you want to see ETC? I, I would. I would say ETC would be very decent, especially with the uh, with the mosh pit, mosh pit into uh, a shock and awe. I mean, would definitely not be too bad. But yeah, a new brag a new makes brag. more sense. Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that was the initial call, and uh, I mean, what else would they pick up? But now my sanity has the issue. They also have to pick up warrior. Um. Yeah, <laughs> that, that does only leave open Diablo or ETC, I believe. They oh, could go uh, for Muradin, oh, but uh, Nomi Stitches. has uh, Muradin. Oh, Stitches, yeah. Stitches would be an option. Yeah, Stitches and is most likely what we're going to be seeing here. And Nomi uh, is best Muradin in the EU, so I doubt that we'll be seeing Muradin. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of those really weird picks, but he made him work uh, for some weird reason. So maybe we'll be seeing him in the meta um, eventually. 
Uh, let's see, Rosaris is talking about how Illidan fulfills the second uh, role of the warrior. I, I guess it could he could be the uh, secondary warrior, but I wouldn't classify him as the Brawly warrior, although, Ooh. well, in this case, it is Mindsand who picks that one up, so good call there, Rai. Yeah, they will have to um, skill a little bit, or actually pick talents that give him a little bit more sustainability now, otherwise, uh, yeah, running three assassins, or two main assassins, one semi-assassin, it's a little bit tough. A little bit tough on Mindsand in this part, but maybe they would want to put everything here on, yeah, just one card. Go all in. Yeah, that seems uh, very, very likely. Right, so we're getting into the lobby. Maybe we noticed too much. They see him draft in. <laughs> Click. Is everybody in the correct uh, team now? Yeah, looks like. Uh, what is Lowell? What? What is that skin? Is that Santa? I can't see it. Lowell, you can't see Lowell's skin. It's like no, he, he looks I'm like a uh, team. You can always only see one team, and I can see um, I can see SK right now. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I wasn't prepared for this. But are you prepared? All right. <laughs> well, you, you <laughs> should do this on. Uh, you should do it on Twitter. Just type Illidan, and then you are not prepared. <laughs> Other than bot. <laughs> I love Wait, it. Wait, does it do that? Yes, yes. Just look. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, just. Uh, what does Illidan say about uh, SK's. Uh, about SK. About me casting SK. Click. Tweets. And then immediately, poof. You yeah. are not prepared. <laughs> Alright, I have to look this up. Uh, where are you? Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking for you right there. Uh, where the heck are you? Uh, there you are. So we'll check it out. Okay. <laughs> Just click on my latest tweet, and you can see uh, what. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty sweet. <laughs> You're not prepared. You're not prepared at all. You're not prepared at all, Techno. I'm never prepared. But that's my power. I improvise. I always have the technological advantage. 50 cent, is that you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I love these guys in chat. They're having so much fun. Right. Go, go, go. Can we go, go, go? I think everyone's ready. We should be getting ready for the next game. If you're not ready, you shouldn't ready up. That's how it works. Right? Okay, there's the GLHF, and we're loading into the map. It's gonna be Blackheart's Bay. One more time. Can my insanity make it happen? Can they make the turnaround happen? They already won once on this map. And this was their choice. Well, it's a different lineup this time, and they, are lo they lost their uh, gen, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll yeah, just it looks quite see. a bit different. I gotta say, I mean, Lowell uh, did an amazing job on Chen, and he just stays alive for such a long time. It's so hard to take him out, and he really saves all those team fights. So losing him is quite vital. Um, let's see if my insanity can still make do. But first, here on the left side, as the blue team, we have SK Gaming. They're still leading in this grand final of the HPL EU. They are SK Gaming, and we have Feldstad played by BZ, Link playing Rega, Deske playing Arthas, Zarmony on Tychus, and BKB on Anubarak. And in the red trunks we have the the uh, challengers, my insanity, with Ace of Space on Uther, Freds on Material, Araragi on Tassadar, Shinobu playing on Raynor, and finally in the bottom lane, it is Lowell playing on. Illidan. Both teams now heading towards the Watchtower. Watchtower this time in control of SK Gaming. And uh, at least that's a minor victory that they have at this side of this game. Yes, they do. Um, maybe we have time to check out the initial pickups on the talents. Of course, extended spikes on, uh, on Nuberak, Falset taking bribe. Frozen Waste being taken by Arthas. 
and armor piercing Ross and Tychus, Rhaegar taking healing totem, but there's a little bit of a brawl going on in the top lane, we don't want to miss that. Yeah, a little bit of a brawl, but this is also something that NSK has done the previous game as well. Let's get a push going in the top lane, but at the same time losing a little bit of experience because they weren't there. Just now being uh, targeted by Mind Sanity and a little bit of fight breaking out here. Link getting locked up, stunned, coming out from Ace of Space. Ace of Space also taking quite a bit of damage, but he's going to keep himself alive with his heal. But this time nobody dies as the escape is just a little bit more tanky than he was as a uh, stitch. Now BZ again with his, uh, with his flight straight onto uh, Lowell. Now PKB in a lot of trouble, he's taking quite a bit of damage. He's trying to get out of there with a nice long range burrow charge will be able to go straight back towards the well, well. And BKB actually saved up a lot of coins here. Um, otherwise, they would have lost out on way too many because uh, Mind Sandy was able to pick up all of the coins except one in the in the top chest. So that's a good pickup for them. And now they're even going for the skeletons here on the right side. So picking up even more coins. Let's check out how many coins they already have. Five there, but also, ooh, SK, BKB picking up one more. So that almost gives them enough to make the turn-in happen there. Yeah, but turn-in is probably going to be in favor of my sanity at this point. They're getting, actually getting ready. They're going to be uh, catching out SK here at the Golem, uh, at the Sea Giant area. And also, you hear the ping in the background. That means that uh, Falstad has already picked up a bribe sack. I wouldn't put it past Beast to just bribe this minion here. Although, my... No, not really worth it. Uh, One of them was already going down. Exactly. So he will save that up and maybe go for the steal. I don't know, right now it's it's way too risky even with Lao spotting him out. But he might try that later on. Yeah, for now though it's Fred and Shinobu who are going to be handing in a nice five coins here. However, <coughs> SK Gaming going to try and get themselves the full hand in here. And this is the advantage that you get when you get those early hand ins and that's something on Mind Sanity really wants to be doing. Not save up but just go for just a few uh, coins at a time. Uh, you have a lot less risk when fighting. You're not going to be losing the coins, you're not going to be uh, falling behind quite a bit. However, it looks like BKB is going to be handing in the full six coins right there. BZ heading back behind his walls, gets a shot to the face. We'll survive that one. And now it is Zarmany coming in to hand in the final six coins here. So that means that the first cannon wave is going to go over to the team of SK. Yeah, they're already pushing pretty strong here in the mid lane. We have Arthas helping out here quite a bit, but Araragi, of course, is such a strong, um, uh, such a strong solo laner, and yeah, he can he can hold his ground, not taking any damage here. But now, of course, the Taurus will go down with the barrage, and maybe even take a little bit of damage on the fort. But I don't think so. Um, has did a good job defending so far. But now we have SK moving in and dishing even more damage here to help out and get those towers down so all of the cannons will hit the fort. Yeah, that's going to be a very big thing. SK is already in position. Lola now coming in as well from the side. As Ace of Spades is getting uh, not locked up. Another hit. There's the heal. Venom going down. So much damage to Ace of Spades. There's the first blood going over to SK Gaming. Lola jumps in. But can't really do all that much against the team of SK Gaming. And SK Gaming, if they so desire, one hit on that fort is more than enough to take it down. Here's the escape. Boom. End the story. Yeah, getting the getting the middle fort here already with the first barrage. That was an excellent timing for them to pick up the towers just before the next cannonballs would have gone out. So uh, really, really good timing. And now they're looking to get even more coins, but first they need to stop the Siege Giants on the bot lane that have just been picked up. But maybe this will actually happen with a nice timing here on the pickup on the Knights, but Shinobu already in position, he's spotting them out. And Descape looking to push Shinobu back, and we don't have my Insanity moving into position just quite fast enough, so SK will get the pickup here on the Knights. Yeah, and that's going to be a lot of additional pressure on the bottom side of the map as treasure chests are, are spawning actually. Five coins off the bottom side going over to SK Gaming, five coins on the top side going over to My Insanity. And My Insanity isn't quite done yet. Aragi heading towards the goal, uh, towards the uh, Grave Golem. Ooh, that's an interesting, uh, that's a very interesting choice here. Yeah, very that's, early. That's a little bit ballsy. Uh, they have yeah. three heroes on the Grave Golem and also pushing the Knights. So they're already drawing SK Gaming up to the top lane. So they will be here to react, but will they be here in time? Grave Golem already down to 50% health and they will have to deal with the Knights first. But I think they know what's up. They're gonna push Ace of Spades back and go straight for that fight. But it's only linked and Beezy coming in. Now Deskate and Zarnary joining and they singled out Beezy on the left side. They have to focus them out, but no! First, Link taking a lot of damage there, 
and mind center. They will, they will have to retreat. Fred's already quite low. Ace of Spades taking quite a bit of damage. He should go down here. Yeah, there comes the final shot. And they will get him and now disengage out of this and deal with the knights on the left side. Yeah, very well done here by SK. They, uh, they exactly, they knew exactly what was up. Rotated over the Grave Golem. Now they're going to do it themselves to bait out yet another fight. The issue though they is... They want that fight now. They are level yeah. 10. They are the level 10. The issue is though that uh, at the same time Fred is going to try and hand in the coins at the handing station. And that's going to cost them a little bit of damage here onto these towers as well as onto the fort. Shinobu is already dealing some damage to the towers. And that means that the, all these cannonballs are going to take out the full fort. And that's a very big win for mine, Santi. Yeah, but Mind Sanity will also have to turn around, because the Grave Golem is on its way in the top lane. Uh, they will have to react to that, otherwise they might lose that fort there. And yeah, we have the entire team already rotating towards top lane. So, uh, another another nice way to just keep them occupied is of course grabbing this, grabbing these knights, grabbing more coins so you can get can go for the next barrage. And SK, looking at them, they already have a lot of coins for them. So, we'll make that next barrage happen here pretty soon. They're even going for the giants now in the bot lane. So we'll have enough coins for their barrage. Yeah, now as we have a little bit of da downtime while waiting between the barrages, Tyke is going for the ability-based build, Art is going for the well, the tanky uh, build with the rune tap, of course, as well as the Envenom. Falstad going for the full burst, as expected. A new rack, uh, pretty much the same. He's uh, using Underking uh, and Bed of Barbs to uh, get himself that nice tanky and disruptive CC tank that he is. On the other side, it is Metamorphosis coming out of Illidan together with the first eight. Going to go for that additional warrior. And uh, Tyrael going for quite a bit of damage here with Searing Attacks as well. Uh, on the other hand, he does have the uh, Protection in Death to help his teammates. And look at the damage being dealt here by the, uh, by the Cannonballs. Yep, already took out the bottom fort. And looks like they will even get the steel here on the Siege Giants. Almost only uh, five seconds left on the cooldown timer. Even grabbing more coins there with the pirates. Uh, this is a little bit risky because Mind Sanity, they're back up. They Hearthstone back, but there is that bribe we were talking about earlier. Using it just at the right time here by BZ. So they will have to deal with these Siege Giants in the bot lane. There's a full hand in. Full hand in immediately by SK Gaming. Oh, this means. The next attack actually already hitting here on the keeps, on the gates at least. And there comes the engage. The escape is in trouble, but nope. Uh, he turns around, going straight for Lau, because he went for, for the Odin. And the first one to fall is, of course, Tyrael. Raynor also quite low. Lowell has to jump out of it again. And Araragi stunned there. And there he is, taken out. Lau is still in the fight, but he will be taken out as well. SK doing a good job in that team fight, taking out three heroes and with still two on the hunt, uh, they might be able to get Ace of Base, but no, he can Hearthstone back. Yeah, he can Hearthstone back, but uh, this is a very good move by SK. I mean, they know we have a good advantage, we can put down some damage onto these gates, maybe set it up for the next barrage. But if we look in the middle lane, BKB is uh, rather the middle part of the map. He's already at the turning point, going to fire some cannons. Um, it's going to put a little bit of damage on the keep, but not all that much. I mean, it, it, it is not even close to taking it down. It does open up a lot of possibilities for SK, though. Yeah, they, and my Santi has to be careful. Yeah, they have the ability to just um, deep dive into the keep next like, next time because the gate is gone and the towers will be taken out as well. And now they're just going to go for the knights one more time. Um, they do have a lot more coins gathered up, but not quite enough for the next barrage to happen. Um, even less than ten right now. But my insanity almost has no coins, so right now SK is winning the map objective game and. They just need to watch out not to be picked off here, because Mind Sanity they are already getting in position. Yeah, Mind Sanity going in, now jumping straight onto the escape, the escape in a lot of trouble, the ancestral healing is going to save him, together with everything he has, there's the shock and all coming out, there's so much damage on the board for SK Gaming, now they're on to Territorial has already fallen, he does manage to explode all over SK, but he just takes down one of the heroes, the fight continues, SK Gaming still trying to force Mind Sanity away from this one, now they're onto Aragi, he's using his dimensional shift already, Finally going out of his Archon form as Zarmini is going to chase him down. There's the Flight BZ getting into position. A little bit risky though, but there's no counter-attack by the team of 
uh, Mayan Sanity and Ace of Spades is going to fall here. So much damage on the side of SK. Lyle, he's going to be the next target, it looks like. Knock up on the Shinobu and SK. Yeah, they're going to get Lyle as well as Shinobu. GG I right there. I think they're here. looking for a team wipe here, but no, Shinobu does get away. Fred saves him. But that's an amazing team fight coming out of SK. One for four. Yeah, SK. Pretty is incredible. Very, yeah. <laughs> Nothing short of amazing. And SK is just going to clear out these. Clear out these uh, mercs and then just get themselves into a proper position to maybe go for the Grave Golem, which responds in 10 seconds. Yep, they will go for the coins first, um, and this will give them enough coins for the next barrage. And this next barrage will actually take out the keep, since they already got rid of the gates and the towers. So they do have enough for that, but BKB he needs to shield his allies. They need to turn it in now. Six coins on Zarmini turned in, and BZ also turning in four coins. So that's enough, and the next barrage is gonna hit. Yeah, we're looking at middle uh, keep that is going to go down. I believe it needs six shots to take down the keep. But um, we'll see. First, first two, three. Uh, could be seven shots even. <laughs> Looks like it. Uh, six ish. I mean, it's almost almost out. six. Uh, almost almost six. seven, but uh, six, seven ish. Close enough. Close enough. Uh, the knights are taken here on the top lane. And SK gearing up to take the boss as well, but they know they've been spotted out, walking into the range of the obser uh, of the observation tower there. But does it really matter? It doesn't Mindset. really matter. They have the barrage going on. It took out the first keep in the mid lane, even doing a little bit of damage on the top lane. And now with the follow up on the boss, they might take out the second keep, and that does give them even more of an advantage. They're already leading by two levels. They picked up their level 16 talents, so let's have a look at that. We have rewind on a Nubarak. Falstad also taken rewind at his level 13 talent. Overdrive on Falstad and stone skin on Arthas and Tigers. Earthgrass total on Rega. So they're playing for that sustain again. Yeah, and at the same time, SK now just going to demolish this top lane. They're getting the siege, uh, the, the grave golem, and the night camp at the same time. That's perfect timing for SK Gaming. And now it is a fight for my Sanzi. They have to fight right here, right now, before the keep goes down, or they're going to be losing. But they can't really fight. They, they want to engage. You can see Fred, he's just standing to the side. He wants judgment straight in onto BZ or onto uh, Zarmony, but he can't find a proper engage moment and as a result they're now on the core core already taking a little bit of damage with sk once they can go all in here's the other big pop there's so much damage on the board straight onto fred fred let's take quite a bit of damage there's a shock and all the judgment doesn't quite land the bz as a result of it lowell goes straight into bz the assessor healing keeping bz alive but look at the damage that sk is doing right now shinobu he gets the regeneration but that's not going to be enough at least not he doesn't have enough damage to actually save his team and it is the core that goes down in the middle of the fight sk three to one they win the Heroes Premier League. Congratulations. Really, congrats to SK, taking home $300 here and just perfect decision making on the engagement on the core. They made it look like they were gonna go in the core and focus all out on the core and then they did the turnaround. Then they focused out uh, Tyrael and then um, made the switch on the Heroes and only losing Felset in that last engagement. Really perfect fighting out of them and they really won Blackheart's Bay the way it's meant to be played. You gotta, you gotta play for those objectives. You gotta go for the coins and um, try to go for the go for the camps. But the coins, the coins is where it's at. And they realized that and just won out. And yeah, three to one. Really nice games coming off both these teams. But um, SK in the end taking it home, taking home the three hundred dollars. It's of course winner takes all uh, here in the first season of the Heroes Premier League. And what a season it was. We saw my Sanity with a 7-0, to zero, uh, well, a 7-0 ratio in the leagues with SK Gaming 6-1. to one. They actually lost to my Sanity, I believe, during the, play, uh, during the uh, league itself. But SK Gaming, they uh, grew over the season and they took home this grand prize. Like uh, Paul already said, $300, uh, $300 I believe, going yeah. into their pockets. So that's, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I think that's actually the biggest prize pool we had in Heroes in Europe at least. And um, yeah, pretty amazing. Next season there's going to be even more money involved. So Heroes Esports is growing. 
And yeah, I really want to see more of these teams. I'm excited to see Alternate also joining the fray for the next season. I really hope they will participate in the qualifiers or what, whatever is happening. Of course, uh, stay up to date. Um, look at the Nexus Champ website um, to know when the Season 2 will be happening. Uh, we'll be, of course, bringing you that as well. And with that, um, we like to take our leave and give it up to the NA casters who will um, yeah, jump in right after us. So thanks for tuning in. I'm G-Shock. With me was Technolink. You can of course also check us out on various social uh, social media networks and I think most importantly we're also casting on, ours, um, on our own channels which is twitch.tv slash Technolink for you Raymond and myself you can find on twitch.tv slash GXXShock. So thanks for tuning in and have fun with the NA Finals. Bye bye. You take care.